one month for the next chapter and so uh, the chapter ended uh, exactly uh, where where the season three ended which was uh, them at the at the beach they they had uh, Sasha Connie and uh, John were having this great uh, fun time in the water and playing with the water and all that stuff um, and so we see kind of like a, a hap- happy-ish ending mm-hmm. until uh, Eren in his Shinji depressed self <laughs> he was all like well across the sea there's no there's no hope there's just enemies and after that we finish that and then the next chapter we're seeing Gabby and Falco and this war and we're like what the heck is going on and then it ends the chapter ends and we have to wait another month and and so it, it's it's after like four months that we actually find out who these people really are uh mm. what's going on where are uh, uh Aaron and Mikasa and all the people that we fell in love in the first uh, 90 episodes chapters uh, chapters I mean yeah sorry mm-hmm. uh and so it's after like four months that we find out where they are, what's going on, what's the plan. And uh, to be honest, I I didn't feel bad <laughs> whenever things <laughs> no, started happening. No, and, and we're, we're going to get into all yeah. of that. Just, no, but, but, but what I mean is like um, it, it, it wasn't enough for me to fall in love with any of the characters, you know. The new ones, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and I, I, like I said, we, we're gonna get into all of that. But before we get started with all this, this that we have planned today, I wanna ask Meli. You're a new Attack on Titan fan, right? Like yeah. you, you became familiar with Attack on Titan last year. This also, year. This year was it? This year, 2021. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We started. This, okay, yeah, we started watching. No. It was uh, like at the end. No, at of the last end. Year. Well, yeah, it just a mess. So, but it was like at the end of in, the year. In the last like three months. Like November or something. Like yeah. That. So, yeah. so can you can you tell us your experience with Attack on Titan real quick? How how do you feel <laughs> about this show when you first started well, watching? Well, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I watched it once maybe like two years ago, and I fell asleep. But it was not my fault. It was we just finished. Like I'm new to the anime world, you know. I, I mm-hmm. watch it because they like it and they're my friends and they had taught me a little bit so we finished watching an anime and they're like oh let's watch attack of titan and i was so drained from the other one because this is not my world that <laughs> i fell asleep so, and what then, was the other anime you were watching before attack i think titan? it was um for either daemon either Day- no of yeah one of the other one yeah one of those two one of these two so then this year lily was like oh let's watch attack of titan because it's really good we need to watch it i was like well uh huh. And I said, okay, let's give it a try. And man, I I did three seasons in a weekend, <laughs> literally. Like it was it was I think Thanksgiving weekend. I was off Wednesday, so I have all that weekend of Sunday. We were done with the three seasons. Like it was that amazing. Like I was okay, another one. <laughs> okay, just one more. So that was no 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 and one more. Yeah, and then I was here at. 10 a.m. or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, that, it was really that's, good. That's the best way to spend your Thanksgiving weekend, yeah. watching Attack on Titan, for sure. Well, season four. So so season four starts, right, guys? Mm-hmm. And we get to catch back up with Rainer. We, everything happens on the other side of the wall, right? So we get to catch back up with Rainer and see what he's been up to. For all these years, uh, we get to experience some of his depression and some of his insight, like his backstory, and see what he uh, Rainer is all about, what makes him tick. And we realize that he's super depressed. He has a lot of guilt because he, when he went to the Paradise Island, that's where Eren and all these people live. Mm-hmm. He started becoming friends with them, even yeah, though his mission was to go go kill them, go and get the Founding Titan and kill all of them. So after. W- in the, this season has, has, has introduced Rainer and introduced new characters like Falco and the span of the devil, Gabby. <laughs> so, and we also get to see, meet um, their friends, mm-hmm. Udo and Sofia, yeah. mm-hmm. and they're the four child soldiers that they're tra- training to, for one of them to be chosen as the new Armor Titan. So right. one of them is going to have to eat Rainer and become the new Armor Titan. Right. 
And Gabby, this girl right here, she's the one that wants it the most, right? She's mm -hmm. uh, actually fa family with Rainer. She's their cousins, cousins right? Cousins, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, she's cousins with Rainer, Raina. And then we met, get to meet Porco or Gilliard. Galliard. Galliard. Yeah. Porco Galliard. And um, there's something really interesting with him uh, because he is the jaw titan. So that mm -hmm. means he ate Jimir, mm -hmm. which is funny because Jimir ate his brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a circle of eating people. Which is circle of life, circle of life. <laughs> but he's way more powerful than Ymir. Yeah, because she did. He was he trained for it. Ymir didn't. She was just one of those wandering titans, and she just happened to eat Him. one of the one mm. of the one Bounding of the titans. nine titans. Mm. She wasn't trained for it. Yeah. But yeah, he's very very. Uh, I would say he's is very powerful. Like yeah. he's in another level. Yeah. As a titan shifter. And we also get to meet best girl, mm -hmm. best girl pick, wa waifu material pick. <laughs> and she, we, actually, we met her before. She's the card titan mm -hmm. back in season three. But we didn't, but know, we didn't know that. that yeah. We didn't know who she was or yeah. how she looked like. And yeah. right. she's kind of cool. Everybody seemed to be simping for <laughs> pick, even in, inside and outside this story. So yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we actually get to catch back up with Sik, see, mm -hmm. seeing his growth. And he revealed some of his cool new abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, which we kind of saw them titan last bombs. last yeah the titan bombs were super incredible we kind of saw that last season right but we didn't see him from this perspective i think we just saw that flash right and they mm -hmm. turned into titans last season and then that's when things went down last season mm -hmm. season three and we actually act actually get to meet new characters like really important characters in my opinion um magat uh, so that's to me that's the equivalent of Erwin but for the Marley side mm -hmm. uh, like he's a general a commander he seems to be a little more nice to the Eldians more, more Eldian friendly Eldian friendly because okay. even though it, the Eldians fight for Marley they they're like treating like low class low class citizens they're the way they treat them um, Eldians in Marley is really bad and more a lot of countries don't really like Marley for one we we've been Learning this season, especially this past this episode nine, we learned that a lot of countries uh, get conquered by by Marley. So there's a lot of anti-Marley um, sentiment, mm -hmm. but they have to keep it to themselves. Like they cannot say that because they get executed or something. Yeah, it's I like mean, treason. Let's, let's keep in mind that Marley is actually in control of the Titans, mm -hmm. and they were in control of the Beast Titan, the Jaw Titan, the Female Titan the colossal. armor and colossal so that's five, five titans that oh. they have yeah. they had in their armory let's call it like that and so of course all these other countries that are anti-marley they they're thing. afraid mm -hmm. to go against them so whenever well let, I, i'm just i'm getting ahead of myself but yeah no, that's, okay, why, so that's why they 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 didn't really uh attack let's just say like that they didn't attack marley because they were afraid because they had five giants super powerful giants that they could just stomp on them and the war would be won yeah so of course they they wouldn't they wouldn't attack they wouldn't even risk and, it. and that's how also they conquered all those all those other countries mm -hmm. yeah but now that they notice that the the power of the titans is 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 less they have less titans yeah. and they develop yeah. anti-titan weaponry mm -hmm. now marley's kind of afraid okay now they're gonna come and attack us and well. we see that it is straight up from the first episode when we see um the the cannons that they wanna they wanna um they wanna destroy the cannons before they even bring the titans out mm -hmm. because the titans would die so we don't see we don't see any titans we don't we only see the jaw and the cart Whenever Gabby uh, explodes oh, that yeah. that uh, the the train, the train cannon whatever mm -hmm. um, by pretending to be a helpless little girl, which I don't understand how these guys were like, oh, it's just a little girl in the middle of the war. She's been re very lucky, honestly. Yeah, yeah and, and we'll, we'll talk about Gabby more later, but yeah. she's been very lucky in, in the way she pulls some of these stones out. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, um, they we see how they develop all those all those anti titan weapons. And they they got the courage, I guess, to to attack whenever they found out that they don't have the colossal, they don't have uh, the female anymore. So they decided to attack, I guess. 
-hmm. And then we get to meet meet uh, Willy Cyber and his family. Super important. Super important <laughs> character. <laughs> he is very important to the story of the Titan Shifters. Because yeah. even though he's an Eldian, everybody seems to like him, right? Like he's like uh, uh, this political figure that pe he's people. He's been charismatic with people uh -huh. that they are they're not really Mar Marlinians with the other countries. People outside Marley, outside Marley, like him a lot. And he's the one in, with the power. He's the power behind the throne. In, in yeah, the and hell. and mostly they respect him because he is his family, not him. But his family was part of the treaty between the uh, King King Fritz. Mm -hmm. When and we find this out in the in the episode where he's doing the the uh, speech, the thing. speech, and yeah, the theatrical speech. shadow thing, the presentation, uh, yeah. yeah. Right, right. Uh, and he, his family is part of the treaty that, that wor went on between King Fritz and uh, the Tyburns, except it's not as black and white as they, they showed it, but they, they were still part of the treaty. They're, they're, they're big figures for all these N people. Not only that, they, they, the way they, they had their story, have this mythical figure, this war hero, that defeated what mm -hmm. apparently defeated the, the Titans and, yeah. and yeah, make the king run away, yeah, but that's, that's not how things yeah. happen. And he explained that in his speech. He's like, okay, yeah, this is what story say it's says. Not, it's, not, it's not the way they said it, but they were still part of. Because the, 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 in their eyes, there was no treaty. It was just the king flew mm -hmm. away. He just flew away. Ran away. Ran away and didn't want to um, turn back because the superhero, super war hero, make him do that, right? Like he was so afraid, but that's not how things happen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, and we see that uh, there's a lot of weirdness and the negligence in the mili in the Marley military this season um and that's really very interesting because all these people that are in charge of the military they're not the best people to be in charge they don't really listen to people that have a lot of knowledge they don't listen to the Eldians uh, but Bagat does and that's what makes Willy want him to be the head of the military and they plot this whole thing so he could be in char char charge of the military after an attack that they were expecting from from paradise mm -hmm. but uh speaking of that eden was here the, all along so let's see all these instances of foreshadowing that eden was inside in this either in the background of the shot eden was there we just because didn't knew about it. in the first four episodes we we're following Mar uh, falco right falco right. and gabby and company and rainer of course we get a flashback with him but uh, eden was right there the, here's eden and he experienced the cruelty of the Marley people firsthand, and he, he's becoming a little more sympathetic towards aliens. Of course, he was talking to Falco, asking him, him to deliver letters for, to his family, mm -hmm. uh, and, and they, they have a really cool scene between them when he's talking about, like, maybe, maybe, we, even, we need to keep moving forward, because even if we're in, in this, even if we get to a different hell, at least we're gonna be out of this hell, mm -hmm. something like that, he said. Uh, that was a cool scene, and that's when we find out. Yeah, this is definitely Aaron. Look at that! Hey, look at that! That vengeance face. <laughs> Those eyes. And this is a really cool piece of foreshadowing they did. Look at look at this line. Falco asks Aaron, "Did your family send you that?" He's talking about the baseball glove, and the baseball ball, and baseball ball, right? The so baseball. and the baseball. So who is the <laughs> character that is associated with baseball in in the story? Seek the beast titan but at this point in, in time we had no idea we that them working together mm -hmm. didn't cross our minds because their uh, seek did so much damage to uh to paradise not no other and, and not only that he betrayed his Eren's dad and Eren's ca Eren can see his dad me dad's memories but maybe that's part of why he maybe he felt just he just felt guilty see yeah because mm -hmm. that's a huge twist right that, that was a huge twist seeing uh, in last chapter when they revealed that Sig was working with them. So how you guys feel about that, that twist and that, that what happened? I was like, what the heck? Where did that come from? When did they talk? But of course, there's a three-year gap that we still don't know at the moment how it happens or whatever. Is it three or five? Three or four, I don't know. I I don't remember how many, but there's a, like, it's a gap. A, uh, let's say it's I think it's years four. Gap. I think it's four years gap. Five. Five, five years. So. Okay. Well, anyway. Four? <laughs> well, there's it's four. something. There's a gap there, and in the, of course it, hap it had to happen between those years, but 
we don't know that at the moment. And it was like, what the heck? I was yeah. so surprised because I thought he hated Aaron. Like, sick, hate him. So I was like, oh, wow. What's oh, going on? Me too, me too. And last last episode, we have this really, Ooh. really important moment. And we I think it's time for us to talk about it. Um, not only about the moment, but about, about the character. Like, it, this season is asking us, and, there, and this is the brilliant, brilliance of Isayama. He's asking us to follow Marley and try to understand them. And he gets... And he introduced mm-hmm. Falco, which we're sympathetic towards. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think a lot of people hate Falco. Udo was pretty cool too. Mm-hmm. Um, Sophia was just there, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. But but Gabby, Gabby is the big talk. Like she was trending last 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 Sunday. Last Sunday. Yeah. yeah, she was trending. Sasha was trending last Sunday. Oh, yeah. oh, um, and I asked uh, on um, um, YouTube, in mean, the community tab, how you guys feel? Do you do you feel like Gabby was justified? And it was a huge split. But mostly people want her, want want Gabby to die, like throw her on the ship. What was one of the options? Uh, but a lot of people, they were like, no, no, she. A lot of people are divided. Like yeah. it's complicated. Was one of the most popular options. Um, so how do we feel about that character? I feel like when we're reacting, we're it's just a raw reactions, immediate reactions. We're just experiencing the episode right away. But once you get to see it back and look back at the episode and look at the big picture, you understand. Look, this kid is just. He's, she's been brainwashed. She's, she was born. It's kind of not her fault that she thinks the way she does. These people are marginalized and they think that's normal. Like mm-hmm. in the that's manga, they show a flashback and you can see people being mean to Gabby. Like even the dogs are mean to Gabby. Um, and all she wanted to do was for people to respect the uh, aliens a little more. Mm-hmm. And she felt, okay, you know what? I need to be proud of this. Uh, and, and this is the sad thing. They, they're segregated and they ha- they're they are made, they're forced to wear these bands around their arms so people will know, oh, you're, you're from Europe. Yeah, we see a little Eldian. bit of that uh, in, 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 um, in the flashbacks. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Grisha? Grisha yeah. Gager's flashback. Uh, whenever he runs away and uh, just to see, just to see a Zeppelin. He, he wanted to see what was the big thing that was happening oh they're gonna fly in the sky this is something new and he wanted to show his little sister and he 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 goes out without the band and and there we start to find out a little bit of of how they're treated if, even if they don't wear the band mm-hmm. uh, i don't know if there is some kind of uh, physical appearance that they have that even if they don't wear a band they're able to say tell that they're not Marlians, they're Eldians. I don't know what, if, if there is a, a difference in physical or, or the color. I think the colors have like one, some of them are uh, privileged citizens, privileged aliens, and the other, the other ones are like regular ones. Yeah, so, so we start seeing the cruelty right away. And, and, and with, with, uh, with now that w- with in season four, we see a little bit more on on how the people living there actually feel. And we see that when when um, they ask uh, Rainer in the dinner table, how was ex- his experience in, in the island? Mm. And his uncle, I think it was, he says, no, that must be something traumatic for him. Let's not, he's, he doesn't talk about it. He's like, no, it's okay, I'll talk about it. And he starts describing it first. He, He's, it sounds like he is twisting the story, but then he says there's uh, people with people, especially that word, there's people with different personalities. And that's when Gabby, she was like, people, aren't they devils? And his mom just freaks out. Yeah, yeah, Rainer's mom freaks out. just like, of course they're devils. Uh, they don't don't let any, anybody tell you otherwise. Yeah, and that's, that yeah, that's and, and, and I feel like it's, mostly the older people trying to Im- Im- impose that I- that uh, opinion on the younger one because they are they are afraid themselves that what would happen to my to my niece if she says oh i heard that there's people they're not devils anymore uh, they're not really devils there's they're people with different personality and so she was afraid for for her yeah it was the niece. fact like he called them people yeah. and and you can see their condition to think like that yeah mm-hmm. since the beginning yeah. So uh, uh, Gabby did what she did because she wanted people to respect them a little more. Mm-hmm. And she wanted to change that perception. And once Eden Jaeger attacked, 
all those hopes are gone. Nobody wants to respect ali aliens anymore. They're the enemy. They're the devils Not that killed them. That, but but seeing seeing her home, her her people die in front of her. The the guard the guards that that were super nice to them all the time. They would joke around. They would let them in, let them out. And when and we see a funny thing with Falco whenever he says, "Oh no, I'm trying to protect you. I'm doing this for you." She and doesn't it get just it. Goes over her head. So but she sees those people that she's close with, and they're dying in front of her. That must be some kind. You know, sh people. We forget sometimes. She's she is a twelve year old. She's girl. a twelve year old, and not so only that, that that place that we we seen as a concentration camp because we know the difference. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like. I mean, she sees the difference, but that's how she knows. That's her home, even though it's a horrible place to live. That's where she grew up and, and seeing your hometown being knows. trash and trampled has to make her angry and she's a so child soldier too mm -hmm. and child soldiers are easier to manipulate because they're kids so that's another factor to consider so mm -hmm. everything she's doing in her mind is the right thing mm -hmm. and th again that's the br brilliance of Isayama she's Eden dude she's definitely a shadow of Eden yeah. that's it. the parallels parallels between Eden and Gabby are so oh, like right there so you can see them they're like they're like a mirror of each other Eren wanted to kill all the titans gabby wants to kill all the now she wants to kill all the yeah. devils right yeah yeah uh, i i think the the difference between Eren and gabby is that uh Eren was just a little boy he was just a random little boy with a lot of curiosity uh he was um i i know some of you guys have seen the the abridged version of Attack on Titan, and he in the abridged version he says, uh, "I wish for an, for an adventure." But they they say it they say it because in the manga and in the anime he is a, a curious little boy, and so he wants more to life. He he wants to see what's out there, and and it's reinforced by Armin, mm -hmm. which he's seen a book that in in their uh, inside their wall mm -hmm. in in a, in a way the concentration camp. If we see if we see it that way with Marley and with uh with the audience yeah, they're, and the they're, people in paradise they're both living in prisons yeah. in a way mm -hmm. so uh the, it's illegal that book that arming is reading that is the outside world there is a play uh, the the water that goes on forever a place with frozen water and uh a jungle and a lot of different animals and all this stuff it's illegal because they're not supposed to know that there's an mm -hmm. outside world and so i think the difference is that Eden has never seen um death to the extent that he saw it uh he you know we see the flashback where he actually kills but i don't think he not not in the in the war perspective mm -hmm. and gabby has so I, I think that's that's a major difference uh they're both they're they're they were both really young when when things happened to them and uh of course they're traumatized Eren has been traumatized since day one whenever he saw the the giant titan kicking the wall the the rocks hitting the people and his mom died mom die get eaten, eaten in, not not just dying but get <laughs> eaten yep. in front of him and he n being helpless to to to, to be anything. able to do anything for his mom he mm -hmm. tried to to get the rock off of course he couldn't he's a little boy the house i think it was it was yeah the rock was in, inside the, uh, on top of the house. so the, they both ex both experienced yeah. trauma at oh, an yeah. early age yeah, so that's a, that's another parallel yeah i just think the differences between between gabby and and and, and Eren is that she she has been training for a long time so even even if Eren wanted to do something he he couldn't if versus gabby that she was she was willing to grab a gun and do something about it because she trained about it and she was willing to die because her dream yeah. was was over uh but I is there hope for her though is there hope for the gabby character because i see a lot more hope for falco because he's yeah. he gets to experience Eren jaeger's story in a way and not only that he sees rainer mm -hmm. and if rainer is a high high yeah. class alien high class soldier he's the armor titan and he sees Ra how rainer feels so guilty and traumatized mm -hmm. right and then he asks um Eren to kill him so yeah. i don't know i think there's a lot more hope for falco based on this last episode chapter chapter episode nine uh i don't see a lot of hope for gabby she's still like full of rage and anger yeah so yeah. falco seems a little more uh, mature in that sense so yeah. so who knows where that char character is gonna end up but at least um but maybe because gabby hasn't seen what falco has seen too and he's and stubborn though 
Yeah. Yeah, she is. She's very stubborn. But hard headed. Maybe that's why she feel like not believing, I guess, mm-hmm. and still think that they'll jiggle. Yeah, and, 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 and for Falco, he, he has that sympathetic side, and we see it since episode one, wherever right. he tries to rescue that other guy, his enemy. And even when the enemy is, is uh, insulting him, mm-hmm. yeah. he's like, I don't want to be touched by devils. Get off me. Uh, still Falco is still trying to sim- to be sympathetic. So when in, in with Kruger, which we find out is Eren, uh, he tried to help as much as he could. And then, like Simon said, he sees uh, Eren's side of the story and... and, and Rainer saying, uh, oh no, because Eren asked, why did my mom have to be eaten by a titan? And I think since he, he ha- he's such a sensitive boy, he, he put himself in, 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 that in Eren's shoes mm-hmm. for a second. And he was like, man, I well, wonder if my mom, if I see my mom getting eaten by a titan, by a titan how, how would I, I feel? I feel? Yeah. yeah. And so I, I think that's a huge factor f- uh, for, for uh, Falco that he's He's able to sympathize with someone at least. Yeah. Um. This season has been like, I, like we said earlier, it's been really good. It's not just misery, and we had that that death scene, and we, it, that got to everybody last week. Yeah. But they, we also had really cool and hype moments, right? Oh, yeah. So, what are some of your favorite moments? Like, I'm gonna start because I have them here, um, ready. One of my favorite moments is when Levi first entrance because thi- this is how it happens right yeah. so Eden is getting ready to consume the so tr- at least to try to eat the Warhammer Titan right Levi is r- if you notice Levi is right here g- ready right. just in case but mm-hmm. they cut real quick to to the next scene and then a uh, freaking Porco appears and he Porco was very cocky and he wanted to <laughs> To he wanted rep- to be the war hero. He, would, yeah. he wanted to be the war hero to take the founding titan. Like, and, and But no, Levi is there and she's like, no, son. No, fam, this is not <laughs> happening. Yep, yep. Boom, boom, chakalaka. <laughs> and that turns into everybody going and attack Porco. And he's like, what is this, the Ackerman? And then, oh my gosh, they can, can they see I'm a titan? Are you? Like, <laughs> we'll be fighting you guys. And he says, the, these guys are just humans. And yeah, they're coming to kill me. What, what's which, wrong with these people? Which makes me makes me uh, <laughs> makes me see how much of uh, having that power gets to their head. Like, can't mm-hmm. you see? They're just mere humans. Me, I'm a titan. Right. They're just mere humans. And they they're, can't do anything. And else. they're not used to see people with swords tra- coming and killing kill yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Trying to fight them. Period. Like. Yeah. <laughs> while while the people of Paradise, they have to learn how to, and yeah. they progress their it technology. The, their technology is all about killing t- t- titans. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. the only thing they know. These yeah. guys are the devils or paradise. Boom, and then, ep- then the episode ends. That's one of my yeah. favorite moments. That was so that hype. So um, what you guys have any favorite moments? I love when Mikasa came in because I love Mikasa. When Mikasa came in, I think I have a, yeah. a slideshow with that. Yeah. That moment was cool too. The one with uh, Armin, Armin turning. Yeah. Yeah. Another one of my favorite moments is this because nobody was expecting this. Uh, Sik is there, chilling, trying to trying to uh, contain <laughs> them, and boom, shakalaka. <laughs> there goes Levi again. But well, again, now knowing that he had, he, he was part of the plan. He, if he wasn't, he would have, he would have uh, to recover himself. He would have found out that. Yeah, he wouldn't be more aware. Yeah, yeah what probably was going more aware. Not, not, not that he he was gonna, you know, feel Levi coming in or anything. But yes, he would have been more aware. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. He was just crashing on purpose. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, he was. But it's funny because he, <laughs> they even stab his face. Mm-hmm. And they see uh, Falco, Gabi, and Maga get to experience that. They're like, oh my gosh, he yeah. just one shot the beast titan, right? right? And then it explodes. The explosion was just to, to it's a distraction. distraction. Yeah. Yes. Just but you don't get at the moment. As, as it, a viewer, we don't get at the moment. We don't get to see that, but yeah, it's just they, they can take sick. Into the yeah, Zeppelin. Without, right. without them knowing. Yeah. Another hype moment was this one. Yeah. Until I destroyed my enemies. I seen all the reactions. Even our reaction was hype. But I seen all of the reactions of this moment. And oh my gosh. This moment was, was so epic. It was good. And that big that, entrance. Yeah, Eric Vick's entrance. The fact that, that Rainer was with. You know. he Even if Rainer uh, wanted to die himself. He knows that Falco has no fault in anything. And, and so he tried him. to protect him. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. But look at this entrance, and then Willie's like, "Oh, <laughs> what's, got, what's happening?" Yeah. And, and bye. 
<laughs> and boo, look, and look at this guy. A lot of people don't even notice it, but one, you see a rock hitting this guy in the poor, background. Poor guy, oh he died. God. He died oh without God. people people noticing him. We don't yeah, even let, let me let me put it, let me put it in full screen real quick. So yeah, at that moment, this happened, and you see a rock hitting this guy here in the background. Mm. So, and they. And you're not you're focused on the people, the reaction of the people, so you don't really notice this. Mm -hmm. But I this this it. this was a, like slow mo and everything. Wow! And then Eden kills William. Yeah. I was so surprised. Not I only, was so sure. Not only he was, does he eat him, but he slaps him. He stomps yeah. on him. Yeah. Grabs him in his in his fist, throws him up in the air, and lets him fall like a like a popcorn, just up <laughs> into like my mouth. Snack. I wonder yeah. if they can taste. I don't so. know how so. being a Titan works. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, that they shake. don't they don't have the digestive system. I know that. Yeah, I know I know that, but I don't know I don't know if they need to feel so they can fight better. Like they need to feel the ground and they need to feel the fist and all that stuff. But it's like it's like an Evangelion. Probably, they kind of need to feel it too. Probably because well, I don't know how much because whenever Eren was taking the arms of uh, Galliard, he was screaming. I don't know if he was feeling mm. it or he was just screaming because he was scared helpless and yeah. scared. Yeah, like it, ah. can, it, can, it can be a little bit, but maybe, maybe they don't feel pain, but they, they feel stuff. You know what I mean? No. Stuff. Like they, they, they can feel the ground, they can, they, have, they can feel the touch, but they don't feel the ne nervous nerve system where the pain ah. is. Mm -hmm. It's not activated because they don't need to. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but they, they, they realize, oh man, I, I don't have an arm. Yeah, it's weird. Then, the, the, then after that, Eren just goes. Oh, ah, just. Oh, WWE. <laughs> he was. He, he went uh, all uh, WWE. Yeah, all wrestling on them. Yeah. Swim. It's like a swimming pool, man. <laughs> I love the. I love the word. Um, the hammer Titan. Because I was like, is that is that her? <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking. But the, this is Melly's favorite moment. Now or never, Mikasa. Oh, yeah. And then Mikasa shows up. Throw some of the, the spears and blows up the neck of the Warhammer Titan. And then, yeah, yeah. The, the other moment is when she, when we, the Warhammer Titan gets revealed. Because yeah. we thought it was Willy, and then it turns out it was her, yeah. the sister. Yeah. And I didn't I was, know I never, it was his sister. I always thought, I guess I didn't read it that well, because I was so caught up into uh, what happens next that I just read, I but I didn't it, like, take the information in. And so whenever she she transformed, I was like, oh, it's just the it's just the the nanny or, or the, oh, the the, okay, the okay, maid okay. that she just happens to have the power. You know, because they but need to now be now in here. Mm -hmm. I found out it's the sister. Well, they need to be part of the Maybe. bloodline, the Tiger yeah. family. Yeah. And I, I don't think the manga ha has a name for her. The name only people know the name because of the anime, because of the, oh. the little side, you know, in between the the the. I don't La Lara Tiber or something like that. Ah, they put her name. Yeah, they put they right. put the, the name in the in in between screens ah, when you go to commercial in Japan. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she's transforming and then it's like nope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she, he was ready for her. Oh yeah. He was ready. And then he's panning on yeah. on the Warhammer Titan. Uh -huh. And then yeah. another hype moment. It has to be this moment. Like uh, this is the moment everybody was talking about like two episodes ago. Yeah. When Galliard goes and attack it, and Eren uses the the cocoon as a shield, and he realizes yeah, that's it. Not my favorite yeah, that's Pedro's favorite moment. Yeah, because they, they didn't they didn't plan for this, so it's just they're just coming up with a new strategy on the spot. Like, yeah. oh, mm -hmm. so they can break it. I can eat it, but they can break it. Galliard, exactly. Well, Galliard, so yeah. The power of the jaw titan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I think uh, this is a good example of how how much Eren has grown. Because mm -hmm. in, in the past seasons, he was just uh, very reactive, kind of like Gabby is right now. Very reactive, like, I'm going to go and attack and, 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 and you know, wh whatever happens, happens. But now he he has a strategy in his head. He, like Pedro says, he, he uses it as a, as a shield, and he finds out, hey, I can't break it, but he can. Mm -hmm. And he finds an opportunity to, to, to use it. To use it. And that's when we see this amazing thing. The right Nutcracker that Titan. That scene was really good. <laughs> CGI Eren. <laughs> well, the CGI Eren was for the whole fight, but in this shot specifically, <laughs> yeah. looks really CGI. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he uses Galliard as a Nutcracker, yeah. and <laughs> they break the the, the, the ca diamond cocoon. No, that scene was she, awesome. She dies, and Eren gets to drink I all the all the the, the Titan Gatorade. Yeah, she did. 
Is See, that what? piece of meat right there in his in his uh, in his uh, right that? there? Yeah, that one. It, that looks like the reflection of the blood. It could be cause they need the the spinal fluid. So well, he took the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that, that Gatorade. Everybody's calling him protein <laughs> shake, the Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, all the all the memes are great. Man, and that and right there in his eyes is when we find out, you know, he really got the power. Right, right. He got he got the the Warhammer thing. Yeah, that was a, such a great scene. That was such a great scene. I love that scene so much. Yep. One of my favorites. And you can uh, you see Eren like his reaction. Like Lily was saying, like look at his face. Look at this face of, of power. Like. I don't know how to explain it. Like he gets like power thirsty. Yeah. But no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that worked. Yeah. That was so hype. That moment was so, so, so hype. So guys, uh, any other favorite moments you guys have? I don't have, I don't have pictures for all of them. But anything you, <laughs> what about you guys in the chat? What was your favorite? Was one of your favorite moments in Attack on Titan? Let us know in the comments or in the chat. Either way, I can we can read some of the comments later on. Give you a shout out. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite moments. Um, it was good. Yeah, really good, really good. So Which brings me to something really interesting. We were speaking about the CGI, but you guys have you guys noticed? Have you guys noticed how the trailer looks so different from the actual show? Yes. If if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you here in a second, right? I'm gonna show you here in a second why it looks so different or the differences between the the trailer right. and the show let me, let me see here we go there it is awesome awesome i don't trailer, right? that yeah I, i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you here in a second but yeah this is a trailer shot can we see it uh, i don't think so let me let me switch the display real oh. quick <laughs> there we go. i don't think they need to see your face i want them to see the actual thing oh. so <laughs> so sh check it out so this is a trailer shot in the actual show, in the, in the anime, it looks like this. Uh -huh. yeah, nice. Totally like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, the eyes, that light is coming. Oh. Oh, wow. So they, they use a, a face shot here. They use an, use an eye in the, in the trailer. Mm -hmm. hey, which are, this is a really cool eye, an eye in the actual show. It's a really, really detailed eye, like we are accustomed to Attack on Titan. Oh, but that is just minor. Look at this. Oh, God. That's, That's the trailer. This is the actual show. I, I don't know which one is better. Well, I, know, I don't even know if one is better than the other. They just they're just very yeah, different. They, they look the hand, like two completely gets me. No, two completely. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice first. I was gonna say like the face is like better, but then look at the hands like oh no. The hair color is a bit different. Yeah. The ground. It looks like a different boy. The ground this is one different. Looks younger. This one looks like. Yeah, the, the artwork is different, the colors are different. Yeah, it's very, very, very different, right? Well, the sh the, yeah, it just shows, uh, in the trailer, I guess it shows that they he, were was, he was one of the people that were uh, shoveling the for, for to get the fortress or whatever. Yeah, uh, there's a uh, word for that, I don't remember. I don't remember my... Trenches. 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 Yeah, yeah, trenches. Uh, this, is a, this is a really cool show, Gabby. Look at the, the eyes of the devil right there. <laughs> And in the anime, it looks similar, but not quite as I cool as this one. I actually like the anime one better, the expression, because in the in the trailer, she she does look uh, cocky, but in a way she looks like I think cock, cocky, but like a good like a good person. In here, she looks in this shot, she looks like not only she 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 really believes that she's above everyone else. This shot just just her like. Look, look like her looking down on the uh, to the uh, on the audience except oh. except like go to the right there she's just looking straight at you i feel like in the other one she's looking down on you they also look older in the trailer yeah. than like uh. they make them seem more kids in the actual anime like you can actually see the kids but it, this one looks like a teenager like uh. i don't know like 17 18 years old mm. Mm -hmm. and this one looks like and 12. this one kind of yeah. looks like a little interesting kid. interesting thing to notice mm -hmm. and W is this one closer to a manga though? I think the I think the trailer just grabbed uh, shots from the manga and, and just ma animated and them. made them uh, look like anime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. color yeah. them, stretching them a little bit. Look, look at this one. This one gets me. This is the trailer. This, this is kind of how it looks in the anime. Because in the trailer, in the anime, it doesn't really quite do this shot. So this is the closest thing I couldn't find 
Like in the anime, they kind of show this part, but it's very different. Yeah. So. Look, it's more square hand, more square. But the design of the the Titan is very different too. Yeah. Even though it's the same, yeah. right? And look at the sky. The sky is the main difference. When you this guy looks way more complete in the anime, which I appreciate. Yeah. It's really it's like okay, let's put something there. Uh, well, the if, if, yeah, they're, we're looking at from the ground level. So there's of course he's running. Uh, it's a giant the running. And there's a lot of dust around. Oh uh, no, yes. no, but you you'll notice the white sky later on. Oh, okay. Look at like right here. Mm. Look at the uh, white sky, yeah, yeah. and the the uh, cart titan. And then look at look at the, the actual guys, anime. Look at the guys in inside the, the Yeah, fortress. this is the anime ones. Who yeah. are these guys? <laughs> yeah. Who are you? What? <laughs> yeah, so the shots are, are very different. Everything is very, very Super different. different yeah. yeah. Uh, look at this one. This one gets me because this I really okay, like so how this the, is the so this is this is definitely uh, manga the shot? manga the manga shot just color like, different to look like it like the trailer because if i think this is one of the shots that is just a picture zoomed in and they just pan mm. to make it look animated so i think this is for sure one one manga page that was colored different to look like an anime and um, but in the anime it looks like this uh, but i like the the, okay, the level of detail of the trailer Compared to the, this is the anime one. You, well, you can see a zeppelin. The zeppelin in the sky. Mm -hmm. And the actual sky. <laughs> the guy across with the legs <laughs> crossed. That's funny. There's a guy with the legs crossed where. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and that one is diving. I just. <laughs> yeah, they, they always try to put funny stuff on the trailer. Look that at guy this one. apologizing in the air? That one? That one? Which one? This one? Yeah, he's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's covered. It's, it's, just, like it's just funny. Like they, <laughs> I, I, well, they, he doesn't have anybody. Yeah. No, it's interesting how they try to make the, the Titans funny yeah. in the in the show sometimes. Oh, oh. This this is very, very yeah. easy. This, this is the, how the Warhammer Titan look in the trailer. In the trailer, yeah. And this shot for the anime, and let me put it back in full screen real quick. Mm -hmm. In the anime, it took them Two shots to do this. It's very different. The anime do this and then they do this, hmm. and it's supposed to be the same action when he's getting the hammer, someone in the hammer, right? So it's very different. I don't know which one is better. I just think it's very different. And then this shot looks amazing, but you can tell it's a manga panel. Yeah, it, it is looks a great, manga like a manga panel. Yeah. Um, probably a double spread. I don't know. It is. You know, yeah, it looks great, like a, a double spread. Well, this one. This is how we look in the anime. <laughs> this is the Warhammer, this is the hammer, and this is the thing. And then they cut to it and yeah. uh, breaking the, the spike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So very different. Uh, this l he looks way more CGI while well in the Again, trailer. That just, in the, that just shows in the anime. Uh, uh, I hate to repeat myself. It shows in the anime how much Eren has grown. That he was able to think fast and just break the thing with his diamond hands to get away from that. Because he knew he was going to die. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, look at this one. This one is Porco going for that that uh, Paradise yeah, soldier, yeah. corpse guy. He looks menacing with the eyes glowing. Yeah, it looks thing. awesome. Looks like a lion. Again, it yeah. looks like a looks like a manga panel, anime version. It's so <laughs> different. <laughs> so different. <laughs> yeah, it's very different. Uh, let me see what else do we have here. I'm gonna tell you guys why this happened. I know why it happened. Uh, but I'm gonna show you first some of the changes. This scene. Someone put their favorite scene. Oh, do we have any favorite scenes in the comments? Yeah. When Gabby was hit. <laughs> <laughs> when Gabby was hit. <laughs> Dude, I seen people have like an hour version of that on YouTube. I know. There's an 11 hour one. What? Of people yeah. beating up Gabby. Yeah. There's an the 11 hour. Uh, oh it's just, it's just two, two, uh, you know how they hate, how they do. One punch and one kick, mm. and it's just that for 11 hours. It, like, like, it's like Joffrey when they used to do that to Joffrey. Oh Joffrey my god, with the slaps. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah but that's funny. Um, and uh, the memes, dude, the memes are great. Uh, the one with Tobey Maguire crying, that was funny too. Valen, uh, isn't that Elian? I don't know. I don't know. That sounds like something my cousin would say. <laughs> well, that's uh, I cannot name my cousin would put his his uh, username. <laughs> Anyways, we have Eden's big moment, big sentence. It looks very different, right? Like the coloring, the shots, everything. I don't know if the in the manga looks like this, but in the anime it looked very different right here. The CGI Eden. Um, 
And then look at this one. Do look at this amazing detail on the on this <laughs> logo. Wow. Doesn't that look like the uh, Survey Course logo? And I think we're missing something, something red here. Uh, should actually go back to the shot before and the one before. I don't know. You don't know what? If this is the same scene. Do, are they going to go back to Paradise? Uh, to because it's, it's supposed to be at night time, right? It, this doesn't look like um, Paradise. It looks more like Marley, the place that we were. Mm, I don't know. And, and later in the trailer, they do a, like a longer shot, and you, you can tell, it's, and it's nighttime. Okay. But so far, this is the closest thing I could find. Yeah. But, well, this is Mikasa yeah, in, in the trailer. <laughs> This is Mikasa in the I mean anime. She's missing something in her neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the something that she would not just forget. 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 And the armor design is very different, too. Yeah. Look at this. I like this one better. I, I don't know. I feel like this one is closer to a manga because look at the pl chest plate. Look like an actual chest plate. Like, it has the shape of a chest well, plate. The one, the one in the anime looks like... Square. Yeah, but it looks like... I don't know. It, it looks thicker. It looks like something that would actually protect you. It looks CGI. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, look at this. This is Armin in the trailer. Armin in the oh, anime. Wow. And I don't know. Uh, this one looks CGI. This one to me, it does. And this one looks hand drawn to me. Um, but I could be wrong. I could, I can't, I, it, could, it gets tricky sometimes, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the answer. This is why. And for this one, we're going to put it in full screen. Uh, the reason the trailer looks so different from the anime is because one person was the director of the trailer while this person, Yu Ishiro Hay Hayashi, is the director of the main series, of, of the season. So they, ha they asked somebody, hey, even though they're from the same studio, they asked, hey, you, you're in charge of the trailer, please do the trailer, and this other person is doing the series. So that's why they have that's all this know. difference in direct, like the. Difference in direction is pretty much everything, right? Like, they have different styles. They probably wanted to do something different in their moments. That's not usual, right? I don't know. Because normally, like for a movie, for example, when you cut a trailer, um, you use scenes from the movie. It's rare when right. they, they, they have sh uh, scenes shot just for a trailer, right. which it tends to, it could happen, has happened in the past. But, like, it has happened before with other animes? Yes, with other animes, they, they have cut problems just for... And different, like different people does the animation. I don't know about the different people. This, this I know because of Twitter. But in other animes, is, there have been the cases that they make promos just to be promos. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, but I mean, like more like, more like like this that one guy did just the promo, another guy is doing the actual anime. That has happened before. No, not sure. Probably, but because I've seen promos that you can clearly tell they're not from the anime. They're just made to be promos, like mm -hmm. almost like the openings. Yeah, but I also think that uh, the the guy that was asked to do the the trailer, he was relying more on the manga because I don't think they had they had the animation ready for some of the stuff that that they were gonna put mm -hmm. in the anime. So I think he was gotcha. relying more more on, on what on they them. are they already had in the manga, and they're like, okay, let's let's color this page, let's let's uh, animate this a little bit, um, and so I think. It was mostly because of that. He was relying more on what he had already in paper. Um, I don't know if, if they used um, storyboards or anything like that. No, yeah, or, no. Or, or they, they were just using, like, different panels from, no, from no, the manga. No, no, I feel like he got inspired by the panels, but they have to, if it's part of the process, they have to do storyboards. Because mm -hmm. they even like, panels are sometimes squares or rectangular or diagonal. They have to make everything look like a, like a frame mm -hmm. from a movie. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no. I, uh, there were stacks or pre-animation, like some some people thought, oh, they had these trailer shows are pre-animated. That means they were animated in advance and they were gonna be using the actual show. Uh -huh. Like a, a good example for that was the secret secret promo at the end of season three, part one, when mm -hmm. they showed that scene between Levi, Eden, and Mikasa. That was uh, pre-animated yeah. and that's in t and that was intended to be used in the actual show. That was animated in advance just yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. But this is what the trailer was like, strictly animated for the tr as a trailer. As a trailer. I don't even know if they went into production at the same time because they, mm -hmm. they need you can tell the trailer was kind of rushed yeah. because the lack of detail while the other sort of people they needed yeah, to, not, to focus not, on the actual not only show that, but because of uh, like I said some frames are just uh, 
it's straight up one, from the manga. Uh, yeah, and, and not only that, it's just one picture that they zoomed in and they can. Oh yeah, a lot of them are still. There's not a yeah. lot of movement in these trailers. Yeah. So yeah, and the scenes that do have movement, they look really. The artwork looks really like. Mm. Eh. So so yeah, it, the, that even but it's it tricked us. They got us all because the tr that trailer is cool. <laughs> <laughs> the music mainly. Italian. So mm -hmm. so guys, I think it's time for us to to play a game. Mm. To play a little a little game. We're gonna need. We need to spot the CGI. We need to tell if this is CGI or anime <laughs> or hand drawn. So let's start with this picture. So what do you guys think? Should we? It's just, uh, hand drawn. You think that's hand drawn? Yeah. I talk at this, so yeah, I don't even ask me. The shadows are very precise. I think when when it's CGI, the shadows kind of move all over the place, and this the shadow is very precise. Yeah. Well, the CGI from Mappa is not that but actually I, I give props now for CGI but I feel like these guys uh -huh. are hand drawn and definitely this guy is CGI. I feel like the look at I the way know. of the shape of the face. I feel like the body is CGI. I think everything <laughs> is CGI. Is just no I, they wouldn't it's do weird. they they wouldn't do that. And uh, it's easier when you see them in movement but that's why this game is fun because we need to guess because it's a still it's yeah. harder on a still. Yeah. I, I don't know the answers. I don't remember. <laughs> I just took screenshots. No, no, but no, no. no. I, I know the answers for some of them. And yeah, the, this guy is CGI. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. CGI. Yeah. It, but these guys are, are hand drawn. Oh, what about this one? Oh, CGI. 100%. You see, you see the shadows. They like have very computerized shapes. Whereas gotcha. The, pre the previous one was very, very precise. But look at Rainer. Rainer looks out of place. Like he was just placed there. Yeah. Like they yeah, yeah. Like, look, the background is there, and it just. And if you yeah, see, I can see it if, if you I see cannot notice when it's in motion, like when you guys, oh, that looks so CGI. I'm like the what? <laughs> <laughs> but now that it's like paused, yeah, I can kind of see. For for me, it's it. backwards. When when whenever it's moving, and I can tell if it's CGI. And if you see this, you you see the strings, right? Like CGI, they're like puppets sometimes. Yeah. And you can't see how they pull the strings, mm -hmm. like the skeleton. It, it's kind of weird. There's no strings for me. It, CGI. Definitely CGI. You can. Look, it, at, it, his side, look at his head. That's, that's, the, that's the shape of the, uh, the shading. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the shading gives it away sometimes. Yeah. It's easier. It's harder to spot at night, but during the day, day scenes, it's easier to spot. So yeah, this is this is definitely CGI. Why the little head? Because well, that's the way he is. Yeah, that's the way he is. Okay. What about this one? Oh. The, okay. In the actual show, that's the scene that looks the most CGI. Really? This scene specifically is the one because of the movement. So they, mm -hmm. Even though they try to f drop frames, drop the frames, it looks too smooth and it looks kind of weird. Look at. But the still looks hand drawn. What still? Uh, oh, one, because uh, you know they, they're doing a good job uh, to make it less obvious and because it has line art and uh, yeah. they're doing a really great job at yeah. disguising. Yeah, They c it could be retouched later, like maybe they hand around that part and erase or mask it out. Because you can mask it out and still have the outline, you know what I mean? But, but Or maybe they, I don't know, it's really interesting. Maybe it's a different model. It may be a different model just for that scene. Hmm. Because they have to use damage uh, Rainer for the later po portion of the fight. Yeah. So they probably keep kept that model. model. Hmm. Look, what about this one? This one's hard. This one is hard. I feel like Rainer, Rainer, Rainer yeah. is CGI and uh, Galliard is hand drawn. Yeah. What, what do you feel like? Same? Yeah. What about yeah. you, Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that Rainer is CGI. Yeah. Uh, but this guy may also be CGI. Yeah, I think they're both CGI. Yeah. I think this whole fight was CGI. And they didn't use uh, steels. So uh, yeah, no, I think I think they're both CGI, but this one is again, this one's a little yeah, harder yeah. to. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really well made uh, model for for Galliard. Yeah, hand drawn. This is definitely hand drawn. Hand drawn, hundred percent. It's definitely hand drawn. It's Annie, and I appreciate these scenes. Yeah. This is definitely oh, hand drawn. That, yeah, that's for I sure. I wonder when favorite. she's gonna come. If she's gonna come back. Well, she's in like a cocoon. I know, but there is it's one like. Oh is yeah. Oh no! Oh, yeah, please ask us questions. We're gonna have a Q and A section at the end, but I yeah. right in the last portion. But yeah, we'll we'll answer these this questions later on. Yeah. Just keep them but in there. Yeah, but that that's uh, to answer Melly. That is also a question that a lot of people are very curious Interesting. about. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me too. But, to be honest, me too. How? What about CGI. this one? CGI. 
So you think this one's CGI? Yes. <laughs> the shading? I don't know. I think I like, I appreciate those little details. I feel like the hair gives it away. Mm. Mm. I think it is the shape of the head. Like you can tell there's a Probably. 3D V shape right no, here. No, triangle like shape. It feels like he has worms for hair. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, the hair gives it away. Yeah. But yeah, this is definitely CGI. Yeah. What about this one? Oh. Can you tell? This one's hard. Okay, let, let, let's... It's so good. Yeah. That's such a good draw. Because of the channel things you were saying? That looks so no, good, though. The, the face, the teeth. Oh. Mm. I see. Yeah, but it could be a different model, too. Honestly... I don't know. Uh, the hair looks hand drawn too. Yeah, it looks different from like look, put the one before and yeah. put this one. The hair looks different. This one oh, looks yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks weird. Spaghetti. <laughs> uh, yeah, spaghetti. Spaghetti <laughs> hair. <laughs> and that one just looks You're more realistic. awesome. <laughs> I love that shot. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, this one I, I don't know. I don't remember honestly for this one. Uh, so I will we'll probably need to go and watch that scene again. But this one is this one's hard. Uh, really this one is a, a very hard one. What about this CGI. one? That's CGI. You think it's CGI? Yes. Even though it's a long shot? Yes. And he's I not moving? I feel like the spike is hand-drawn and the model of uh, Aaron Titan is ju was just placed there. Just <laughs> placed there. Okay, okay. I feel like, I feel like it's kind of like Rainer in the last, in the shot with a, with a, um, what's his name? Uh, Sick. Yeah. Sick. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, uh, Ray, you, you saw, you remember how the background looked, uh, you know, like a background and, and just, he was out of place. I feel like the same thing with this. Uh, the, the spike is hand drawn. It was placed there without any model or anything. And then they just placed the model there. And it's, it just feels kind of odd in there. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. What oh about this one? Oh my god, CGI. Oh my god, give me this one. Okay, Pedro, you have to come and say that to the screen. <laughs> Your reaction was hilarious. Yeah, I can't react to say anything. So what, what, what do you think, Pedro? <laughs> so, Pedro, is, is this CGI or hand round? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I thought he was going to go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that looks very, very, very you CGI. Know what? That looks like Ruby. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like, like Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. No, no offense to that show. The show is great, but it's just the, the style. <laughs> and it's not for me. Yeah. This I one is hard. This one is very hard. I feel like that was hand drawn. Do I you? I feel like this one's hand drawn. Yeah, I think so too. Because I think the li the lines in the mouth would be very straight if they was. Mm -hmm. uh, this is CGI. What? what? Yeah, this is CGI. What? They, that looks amazing. They well, did not do. They did not do anything with the Warhammer that wasn't CGI. Not oh, that really? the CGI. Yes. Not that the CGI oh. is is horrible all the time. The whole fight the with the Warhammer was CGI. Incredible. So maybe this part was flat in the model, the mouth, the jaw, and then just they just went over it and o drew. Or there is a different model. But the I I watched this scene specifically <laughs> for this. Like I watched this whole scene. Mikasa is CGI. Oh, really? And and this guy see uh, does the same thing. And the the. Wow. Is this CGI? The whole thing is CGI. This, what about this one? That looks amazing. I don't know if it's CGI or not, but it looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, I had the same feeling with At this point, one. I cannot spot anything. <laughs> I think I'm that's like, CGI, though. Yeah, I think it's CGI. Uh, yeah, it's CGI. Uh, it's CGI. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the scene when she's walking on the wall, and you can tell it's a CGI model walking oh, on the wall. That looks amazing. But it looks... Yeah. See, some of the models look great. I feel like they have different people modeling the characters, yeah, yeah. and some of them look really good, like this Mikasa or this. Comp or even... This Mikasa is not the same as this Mikasa. No, There's no, no way. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. She looks awesome. What about this? Uh, it, yeah, but yeah, well, it's very similar shot, so yeah, it's yeah, hand drawn. This? Well. I don't know. I, wa I, I, I feel like John is CGI and the other character. Well, I think both of them are CGI. That, that I cannot tell. I watched that scene over and over, and I cannot tell. I feel it's CGI. <laughs> Meli? I feel it's CGI because of, of the <laughs> highlights of the hair. It looks really round. Like, it looks like, you know, you know, hair normally looks flat, and the highlights look a little more detailed. This looks, like, 
it's generated even in a sense mm. so i feel like this they're i think this is it could have been hand drawn but the armor the armor looks off to me yeah mm -hmm. yeah but i watched that especially especially the logo and the the reason this scene is so hard to tell is because when you play that scene he doesn't move you know the movie is the mouth oh. Mm -hmm. oh. so <laughs> i don't know i probably think that's cgi right Oh. This is definitely oh. that's definitely CGI, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, the stallion. The first, yeah, John. The stallion, John. The stallion John. John. Majestic stallion John. Yeah, majestic stallion John. The first time I saw that scene, I was like, yeah, CGI John. CGI John all the way. CGI. Ooh, CGI. but these ones are very good CGI though. That like, that one is hard. Again with the hair though. Hair mm -hmm. oh. That one is hard to tell, but yeah, this is this is CGI. Give it away. What about this one? Mm. Yeah, I think the he the head looks really round and the shape, the shades look a little odd. Maybe the shade or shades afterwards. You think? Mm, mm, who the maybe, maybe. I don't know how they do it, but this one CGI. But again, his CGI model is very good. Yeah. What about this? Oh. See, go back to the other one. The hair looks different. Even the, the face. The face yeah. shape, right? Yeah, so the, the, I think I this is hand drawn. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I look at the highlights. They look a little more hand drawn. I don't know. There's like a, there's like a value to the to the highlights that the they cannot also, recreate the when you. Also look, see the hand right here it pops out a little bit more. Go to the other one. This one feels like it's part of the of the scene. I don't know. Oh. I'm so confused. I know, this game is hard. Good thing we don't have a score. Good thing we don't have a score because we'll all be losing right now. Yep. Yeah, but I think this is CGI. I think this is hand drawn. Yeah. What about this? Uh, hand drawn? I think it's hand drawn. Yeah, I think it's hand drawn with a Look camera camera shake. That's the only thing. Look at the logo. <laughs> yeah, this is hand drawn. This is hand drawn. <laughs> this, is hand -drawn. <laughs> this is definitely hand drawn. CGI. Ooh, but again very, the, but very. Again with the hair, though. Yeah, it's the hair that's giving it away. But everything and the diamond. Look at the diamond. Yeah. But the that hand, could be just the diamond. The hand holding the diamond, though. Mm, I see it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this is yeah, this is CGI. No. That's definitely CGI. <laughs> no question about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God, uh, you guys are not seeing the our yeah, reaction. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if uh, Galliard is CGI. But Edding is... Uh, no, I, I think they're both CGI. It's harder to have one-on-one -on -one oh, in the same scene, okay. especially if they're interacting with each other like that. Uh, they're both CGI. See, I, don't know, I don't know how that works. Oh, I haven't drawn, I think. It's hard, huh? Look at the hair and the shades. Everything yeah, is hand-drawn. Yeah. I mean, I get... <laughs> yeah, it's hand-drawn. Yeah, hand <laughs> but, but again, yeah, going, hand going back to what you were saying, the highlights. The highlight... Well, there's only one highlight. And the hair, uh -huh. but the highlight, but it, they're yeah. highlights in the face, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know. This looks like something. It might it might sound weird, but it, it looks like a, an Evangelion. This whole this whole part of the story looks like Evangelion. Evangelion. Yeah. Look at the eyes. You, you can actually see oh, the eye. eyes. <laughs> oh, oh eyes. Yeah, no, it's, I didn't notice that. Me either. It's but great. I, yeah. Oh, oh wow. the amount of detail. Though. I know. This show was great. And the animation for this part after this, when they actually fight, was pretty good. Yeah. What about this? It's CGI. I think even Mikasa is CGI yeah, here. Yeah, I, I, I was on, only looking at Mikasa uh, Mikasa Mikasa for uh, CGI. The three CGI, Eren is CGI. Yeah. Even this, the but composing this one, Titan is CGI. Yeah, this even one, this is CGI, look at this. Yeah, this one, even, even, if, uh, even if Eren CGI is placed better than the one before. Yeah, I want, what was the one before? The one that, that had the spike through him? No, no that, that's way, way, oh, way, 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 okay, yeah. okay. The, the, the had the spike yeah, through him? Yeah. Uh, this oh, yeah, I remember, better. yeah. Uh, it's a different, it's, this is like the tree. Yeah. It's different, the spike is this one. Um, that is a tree. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Interesting. No, yeah, we, we noticed, well, he's, he's, who was making a tree, I said. Interesting, okay. I don't know why. But this one is hard. Oh. This one's hard. CGI, CGI. Well, CGI. Yeah. I don't think they have drawn the mm. until the until episode nine. I don't think they have drawn the the uh, uh, beast part of item. The face gives it away for me. Yeah, the, the, the nose, nose and yeah. the eyes. The the highlights to me. 
Uh, but these highlights are way, be way better than the other ones. Yeah. But yeah, the, well, the highlights in the, the in the hair part, like the, the top part, because everything is hair. But the top part is, I think they're better. Okay. Than the ones before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the nose that gives it away yeah. for me. All right. Yeah, but this is CGI, definitely. <laughs> spaghetti hair. Even the girl inside is CGI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is spaghetti hair. Look, the hand. Look at the hand. You can't Ooh, tell. What's that hand? Oh, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think they can see it. Hold on, hold what on. What happened there? Oh, yeah, the hand. Yeah. What happened? Uh, oh, wait. no. Where are you? <laughs> Where are we? What happened? Oh, 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 oh we're here. Oh, oh, we're here. Oh, oh. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. But yeah, look at the hand, What's guys. That hand, though? <laughs> How did that happen? No idea, but that's that's a CGI hand. If I ever seen one. <laughs> well, Mikasa. That's hand drawn. A hand drawn. Mm. Very good hand drawn. Look at that shot, and that shot lasts less than a second. Mm. Uh, I had to like really pause it and sh frame by frame to get this. It looks so good, though. Look at the detail in the eyes. Nobody, nobody was gonna be looking at this on the other pause. I it. love when, when, when animators do that. Even in video games, even if if people never see, kind of like what they did with uh, Uncharted Four. Uh, if you really put the 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 picture mode and you zoom in, you can see like you zoom in into his arm. You see the ha the hair in his arm and the, his pores and stuff like that. I love whenever they go to that amount of detail. Mm. Even if people don't notice, it's just the fact that, that they are very detail-oriented um, detail and they they care about what they're doing that much to, to go into that detail. Even, like you said, this is this is only less than a, than a second, but it's just whenever someone actually uh, pauses and puts it, pay, pays attention to that, it's just I'm sure the animators appreciate stuff like that. Yeah, uh, we have, I appreciate stuff like that because yeah. I can take this and make it on my background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sasha. This is definitely hand drawn. <laughs> this is definitely hand drawn. What about dude. the hand? The hand looks odd. Yeah, but it's hand drawn. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, hundred percent. They didn't do a CGI Sasha at all. Okay. They didn't need to. It's only if they need to. And I, I just put this in here because I wanted to see Sasha. Oh, <laughs> Sasha, in peace. Yeah. But CGI. Uh, both actually. Sasha is normal. Sasha is is hand hand drawn with, with a blur effect. Um and what's her name? CGI. <laughs> Best girl peak is CGI. Ooh. Peak peak. That she is CGI. Um Live stream is gone? Yeah. It's fine. I, I'll, I'll upload it. I, I'm recording, so I'll, I'll just upload it again. I don't know what's up with it. Okay. Sorry, yeah. YouTube people. Are we still in Facebook? I don't know. Okay. If it still says live, it's way behind them. Yeah. Well, it's mine is 100% gone. Yeah. On YouTube? On Facebook? In, in YouTube. See, no, YouTube is okay. Yeah, no, I'll, 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 just okay. I'll just upload it again. It's fine, it's fine, sorry. I'm not going to make any cuts. I'm just going to upload the video the way it is. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, what what about this? Oh, my God, CGI. Look at that guy. Yeah, because of, because of face, yeah. Everything <laughs> you see, yeah, even the sky is CGI. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the sky is probably not, but, Dude, yeah. look at that explosion right there. <laughs> yeah. You can see, like, you can see that they placed this with the sky as the background. And they didn't. They didn't even bother to put the the explosion around. Yeah. You see. Mm -hmm. You see how that looks like. Uh, like whenever you you cut uh, something out to put it as a PNG, so you can use it as a meme or something. It looks like they cut that out. They cut the models and just place them right there without even bothering editing that that explosion there around with the light. Mm. CGI. Yeah, everything you see right here. The tree. The three two CGI. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think this is my last picture. Let me double check real quick. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so yeah, that was the little game that we all lost. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> I didn't even try. <laughs> well, I tried the first five pictures. It was fun. It was fun though. I did that. I lost. But yeah, guys, that that was a really fun game. It was a bit longer, but it's fine. Uh, which brings me to my next topic in my line of things of for this amazing thing. <laughs> Um, yes. chapter nine thoughts. So, how do we feel about chapter nine, guys? Mm. Anyone? <laughs> well, it was. Uh -huh. 
No, I mean, compared to the other ones, it was really slow. Because it's just explanation, basically. Um, I don't know. I don't have that many thoughts on it. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was mainly... Um, explanation. It was like in between chapters to set up the, the what what's happened coming, and what's coming, too. What do you mean? The, the, the chapter? No, it's chapter 9 talks. Yeah, so, yeah, no, no. I mean, we got to see the uh, flashback and what happened between the four years and the yeah. four years that they were together. I, mm. I mean, I almost cried when the <laughs> Sasha friends came in. I was like, oh no, please don't do this to me. Yeah. That was um, a sad part. Yeah, but we got to see Eren and we, we got to understand. They explained how that lady that was a sick right. follower. Oh, that that was good, yeah. The sick follower lady. How they how she became allied how they with communicate. Yelena, how she wa- became allied with mm-hmm. the people in paradise, yeah. mm-hmm. and we finally get to see like Omain. Uh, she didn't mm-hmm. saw the the beast titan as a monster. She didn't see the beast titan as a monster. She, it, it was more like a kami, like a god. Like a god. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She really. She's a, yeah. She's a very like a simp sympathizer. A sick simp. <laughs> sick simp. That's a twister. I mean, but it was, it was good. It was a good chapter. It's just yeah. in between. It's not a hype one, but it was, good. It was really good. Oh, that's uh, simp. Uh, what's his name? I don't remember his name, but he was uh, Sasha's the, friend. Uh, yeah. The one that was cooking Nicolo. for her. Oh. Nicolo. 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 I know it was something with Olo, but that's like Piccolo. No. <laughs> Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> Nicolo, my gosh. I felt so bad for him because... Uh, I think that reg- whenever they they came to the to the island to attack, obviously that mm-hmm. was their their uh, mission. Mission, but once uh, Yelena told them, okay, let's let's talk to these people and all those stuff. That's whenever uh, they gave the people in the island a chance to 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 get to know them, and uh, for now we we see Nicholas' uh, reaction like he. He came to care for Sasha. He mm-hmm. really, really, really care, cared about her. Um, now, I don't know if he was in love with her or not, but he at least uh, I guess he had the same, humanity. the same uh, feeling as uh, Connie and, 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 and John. Mm-hmm. Like, he really, really loved Sasha. Maybe as a friend, maybe as something else. But, you know, he's really heartbroken for what mm-hmm. happened. No, and the, he they start seeing them as humans. And the cool thing that happened in this episode is that we get to understand why they ally themselves with Paradise is because they hate Marley. Because yeah. they're, they're from countries that Marley defeated, conquered. conquered. Mm-hmm. So they want to want get back at Marley. So it makes sense to me that that right. motivation makes sense you to me. You know what I found really interesting? Sorry, Sarah. You know, you know what I found really interesting? That they had never seen a black person. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. very interesting. That was so funny. Because they're all alias in paradise in this. Yeah, that, so that I'm, area. I'm actually um, intrigued at how Mikasa ended up in paradise. She was like one of the few Asian people there. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah. Ah, you know. You know something. Ah, Lily. <laughs> that's like the... I the, wonder if he's going to eat the war. Hammer Titan. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> So, so so I hope uh, so. I, it looks like they're gonna explain that. So I'm gonna <laughs> shut up about it now. Yeah. yeah. So Seek and Levi, their conversations oh, are each. funny because oh, they hate Levi each other. Is. At least Levi. Yeah, I Levi, think Levi really, really doesn't like Seek. I don't, I don't think Le- Seek likes Levi either. Well, but I don't think the, Levi like many people either. So yeah, but not only that, but Levi still feels like he has he hasn't complete, completed his last. Um, order from, I- from Irwin, Irwin yeah. which was kill the Beast Titan, uh, and he hasn't killed him, and so he feels that the weight that. of that order, and he will not rest mm. until he kills Zeke. And he can't kill him right now. He, no, they're no, in a position that he no, can't. Yeah. He has actually to protect him. Yeah. yeah, and so I I like the line from the episode before. He's like, I like to but savor my food. How much time Zeke has left though? Like one two, year, two, three, yeah. three years. I think they said in the, in this episode they uh-huh. said. Three years. From that point? Yeah. this point, yes. Which is the present time, yeah. yeah. Three years mm. from, from yeah, that So that's very that interesting. Left. This is another interesting point thing. They have spinal fluid now, so they can turn mm. more more of our favorite characters into Titan shifters if they can, if they get the opportunity. Well, at least they can turn them into Titan too, but that's the only purpose they would. They will use the spinal fluid to inject it into somebody and make them eat another of the Titan holders. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was gonna say because aren't those like titans? They don't they, they don't rationalize. They're yeah, like no, just they're, crazy titans. Yeah, like they're, they're the dumb titans. Yeah, right, that, right, right. That, that's, that's what happened last season with Armin. They just turned him into a titan and put Bertol there in a position that uh, he has no choice but to eat him, right? Mm. And that's how he I became mean, the, the uh, colossal. But the only reason they want this, and they have enough now to turn some of, like, Mikasa or, I don't know, Jan into a Titan if they want to. Or maybe some other character. Maybe Falco and Gabi, finally. They're going to get mm. eat Rainer half and half, a sandwich. Gabi and Gabi? They're going to share, share a sandwich. Wait, what happens if two, items, two Titans eat one? That's, I don't know, because they, they all they need is the spinal fluid. Cut it in half, you get, you get Titan powers. Huh. Oh, two armor titans, the armor twins. Mm. I just we we're, I don't we're not. Think works, I don't know. I think we're we're think predicting the future. Bad, Those are, that's yeah. my theory. They're both gonna get Rainer they're and gonna and they're gonna be the armor twins. Oh my God. And, and they're gonna have a baby, and he's gonna have the armor powers. Yeah. Oh my God, shut up. Since born. Yeah, shut up. Whatever. And Pixies is the only one of the older people that has a brain. Yeah, the other ones are are just. Stuck in their own way, ways, like, oh, no, we're never going to trust these people. Even if these people are actually giving them really good information that could benefit them. Oh, no, they we're not going to listen to them. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. They're like their the own little bubble. Yeah, kind of like what happened in the last season. Yeah. That uh, for for whenever they were, uh, were going to execute... Um, Erwin. Erwin. And Pixis was the only one that was with Erwin. And he was like, I'm willing to bet my position for you. But that, that was a coup, though. They were planning oh, yeah. this whole so thing. This yeah. part I was a little bit confused about. Because they brought them this uh, spinal fluid. And they but they don't still trust them. They still don't trust them, right? So yeah. they, they just have precautions. They don't, yeah, they yeah. don't. Uh, uh, and I understand Pixis in, in, this, in this sense that, you know, I, I trust you enough to give me the information, but we have to see if you're really going to deliver because be at this point they still don't know if if uh, they're going to help them with the with the because i think this is part of the flashback isn't it no, no I, think I, think I think it's, it's present, present. Oh, i don't know then this is uh, this is after because <laughs> while this is happening they're taking they're taking sick to a forest oh. mm -hmm. so this no this is present it's time present, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The information and everything. Yeah, but. But then again, it's kind of like asking Levi to trust. Uh, Sick. He's doing it now, but he doesn't really do it. I don't think it's yeah. But at least there's an understanding between her and Pixies. I feel like yeah. they're more diplomatic, and Pixies is a little more like he's he play he used to play chess with the king or yeah. whoever his guy guy was. Uh. And then we find out at the end of the episode that. Armin is talking to Annie, yeah. and they had a connection in se back in season one. Right. And it's funny because Armin knows that Bertotto has feelings for Annie, and he used that against Bertotto. But Annie seems to be like, oh, uh, admiring Armin. Like, 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 I see a love triangle, and it's funny that Armin gets to be with Bertotto now. So I don't know if some of those feelings or memories are going to pass into yeah, Armin. Yeah, I, I know the memories do, but what are the feelings? Do they pass? Th that, that will explain why Eren is so full of rage, too. Even more now. So, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be something here. Uh, there's a reason they haven't killed Annie. That's, that, yeah. that's like what no, I think. No, they can't. But there's, like story-wise, there's a reason they, they didn't kill him back in season one. And they, they're I'm saving her. too much of it, but how's she the life? Right. She's not eating. Right. No, I think they're stuck in, in like, the like avatar. She's, she's frozen in time or It's something? frozen in time, yeah. I think that's part of this. Like, they don't age. They, they're, in, they're in, like, a stasis. You know so what I mean? They, wait, they but were, when she became Diamond, she was inside of the Titan, wasn't she? No. She used Eren's uh, thing to become to, to make the cocoon. Because it, it looked like they were fusing, but they weren't fusing. She was just sucking up Eren's mm -hmm. whatever... Uh -huh. it, Titan mm, flesh and making it turn it into diamond because she's the one that knew how to do that. Erin didn't, and she was in a pink, in a really awful situation. Yeah, I don't remember because she's dressed and everything. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it, because they uncovered her when she was part of the military police. Military police. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, it, I, I feel like she's coming back at some point, she and that's part of one of the questions well, we're gonna. Why, why she? Why she's knocked out though? She she she's sleeping. 
because she chose to like but the, back in season one she did because they were gonna capture her yeah they were right, gonna capture like, her and, and question her like find out information probably her. torture her yeah and so she, to to avoid them yeah, trying right. to talk to her and and all that stuff i think she she just went on on, on stages and she was just like you know what and she but <laughs> i'm thinking too much of it but like why she hasn't decided to come out yet like how how she's gonna make that decision yeah, like how know. she's gonna know she's gonna be safe enough like, is she, is she listening to, to right I, I don't know that, safe that's enough one, to come out that's what one of my questions if she is actually listening yeah, to and, Armin. and there's another question that we had in the in the chat that uh, uh how many questions do we have in the chat we okay we'll, we'll we'll tackle the tackle them at the end after i finish my the theories but Who's yeah that it was about this well, yeah, it was so question. what are the questions? Okay, let's do a quiz right now. What are the questions? Yeah, the two questions the were, well, what the guy was like, uh, one of the parts that he liked about this episode was that we get to see it, Annie. Mm -hmm. And his question was, if, there, if, if we, we were thought. ever going to see her again, living and, and transforming again, and, and what she was going to do, uh, like if we were going to see her again. Like, I think oh, yes. Oh, she's just going to be eating like that. Uh, but there's more questions like how is she gonna know how to get out? Is somebody gonna be able to actually break that glass um, without killing her or just? I'll give her a call like Armin can get. Oh, may like yeah, or maybe maybe, maybe with the the a royal blood, maybe there's a, a way to call the titans uh, or calling her specifically. I don't know. I don't know how she's gonna get out. Um, mm -hmm. But I've how she's gonna figure it out. Ah, uh, uh, but I feel like she is. I feel like there's a reason in the story they haven't killed her off. Right, right, right. right. Um, Either somebody's gonna eat her, but they can't eat her right now, and get the female titan. Maybe Gabby will do that. I don't know. Or she's coming back at some point during the story. So, so. that those are my two uh, que answers well, to that question. Well, maybe they haven't killed her because they haven't figured out how. They don't know how to get through the diamond. I, 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 I don't I, think I, they want to kill her either. At, no, yeah. At that point, they didn't want to kill her. They wanted to know information, and right. now that they have the information, uh, pro Eden probably wants the Ooh, titan power. Gosh. Um. Any other questions? You see, he has a man bun there. He, he has a man bun, six pack, and he has a six pack. So we, we finish the chapter with six pack Eren, mm -hmm. and we're in an interesting position for next chapter. So yeah. that's that's our reviews and our, our total chapter nine. Yeah. Um, uh, the, you want to know the chapter? Count? Yeah, yeah please tell me the, the manga chapter count. A lot of chapters that were only one. <gasps> really? Only one. The only only one chapter. They only, they only cover cover one? one chapter. Not even one and a half like last time. Only one. Oh boy. Yeah. That's it gonna started, okay. It started literally uh right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there. That's the, the first um, I don't know if you can show that legally. Mm. It's, yeah. it's okay, it's okay. Don't yeah. don't show I, I we think we can show blurred. comics with the, the, the dialogue legally. Uh, okay. Well literally the first panel of the of one oh six is him holding the the chill. Mm-hmm. And the last panel of this chapter is, is that, that one? one right there. Him looking at himself in the mirror. Okay. Did we cut anything? Did they cut anything from the chapter? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. So they cover one. Dude, that's going to add to the last maybe theory. Maybe because the, last, the other ones are going to be a bunch of information, so maybe they will gather two chapters. No, no, no. We, 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 this last section of this stream is going to be two theories, and this is going to add to the last theory. So... Actually, let's let's tackle them right now because I'm ready. Um, so the first theory is has to do with the opening scene of the season and the opening scene of the of the show. To be honest. Um, oh yeah, we have, by by the way, guys, we have an online store. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna do our plug later on, but let me find the screenshots I have. So, in the opening scene of Attack on Titan, final season, season four, Shingeki no Kyojin. Mm -hmm. I wanted to play the scene, but I don't know if, if it's too risky to it. play it. Uh, um, anyways, F uh, Falco says, who are you guys when he wakes up, right? Mm -hmm. And if we follow, follow the dialogue, he says some, something along the lines like, wasn't I flying around with a sword just now? Huh. Like whoosh and there were Titans that I and then Gabby, of course, Gabby throws water at him and interrupts the awesome epic moment we're getting with a lot of questions. Funny thing is 
Lily is a manga reader. And she said, what did you say, Lily? That this is not, this is not. this is definitely not any manga, and we have proof. Do you remember this one? We have re we have been in four years. One for Udo says, and now you can see the manga, manga panels. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking about weekend. I don't know if yeah. we whatever. Uh -huh. we, you see the manga panels. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, and that conversation never happens. Yeah. Mm. Right. Do you remember what we've been in for four years? That it that's that. and it comes to that and they don't really talk about the this specifically, right? They, they don't do this. No. Um, so it's very interesting that they they why did they make that change, right? So in a in a um, panel that Mapa had, Mapa Studio had a panel in one of the events like John Fest or something. Uh -huh. th this question was this brought, up. Brought, brought up, and they say you know, Isayama, the creator of the manga, he asked us to put this here. Among the things he asked us, he asked us to change this and put this in the opening scene. Mm -hmm. He also asked them to portray the Marley people as human and not uh, and the enemy. Make sure they are portrayed as human, they're, they're nice people and things. Maybe he thought about that and then he added to the anime and then he wanted to do And I, I think this I is mean, when, when the manga I, and then... This is not in the manga, but he added to the anime to foreshadow something for but the manga people. Too. Maybe he didn't put it in the he anime and... Uh-huh. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Oh... Yeah, it could be that. So it's very, yeah. Or it, maybe he thought about it, bro. He thought about it, and, it. and let's put it here in the anime that I have a chance. But it's very interesting that he asked for this scene. Specifically um, that. Specifically this. Yeah. My theory, once I read this, what's the first thing that you think about this? He's flying around with a sword. He, he, he's kind of like eating on them, part of the corpse. Uh, uh, Sorby corpse. This. Yeah, this right there. So I feel like he's going to end up. Being part of it? But why was he having a dream about it? That's very weird which like memory it's like a memory like titans have but he's not a titan yet which is very right. weird because but we've seen something like that before when they have a memory inside a dream before they become titans look at episode one of the shingeki no kyojin the title is to you two thousand years in the future. future that's the title of the chapter episode i think in the chapter two in, in the manga in that uh in that chapter, an episode, Eren, the first time we meet Eren is in a dream, and he's dreaming this. And the, the, the dream comes real quick. Uh, so I got, got the screenshots and tried to explain them, right? So we see flowers with blood. That's blo that pl probably explains somebody eating, getting eaten by a titan. Right. Um, as we can see here, somebody getting eaten by a titan. But that, that's, that, that all happens in less than a second. Somebody from the survey corpse now. Getting eaten by a titan. The, the, the mm -hmm. Yeah. He also looks like uh, one of the Galliards, but I don't think it is. Because it's some Sorby Corpse thing. Um, let me put this in full screen real quick. Mm -hmm. And then we see... So we were seeing this guy with the Sorby Corpse uniform. There's a piece of metal behind it too. Like, I think that's... I think that's the light between the oh. neck and the head. The, the head and the ground, yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. the light, yeah. Um, that's inside the walls clearly, mm -hmm. and then this is it's like a blood. weird filter, like blood, and then boom, titans. I think that was uh, um, that scene was whenever uh, the first time if, if when we didn't know that sick could transform, but that I think that's that. that oh, uh, you think it's this is season two? Yeah, I think that is that well is uh, part of the town where Connie is from. Could be, could be part of the town where Connie is from. That, yeah, we don't know where this that is. That or the place where they were at whenever Ymir rebuilt herself. Could be, yeah, could be mm -hmm. actually. Then we see. It's a memory, I don't know. It, that's but that's, why? Why was the first the first uh, season first episode? Yeah, the first episode. So why is Eren having these memories in a dream? And then we see this, which is very interesting. We see this kind of like toy, like uh, out of wax, maybe. Um, melted. melted doll out of wax. Like a prince, no? Yeah, but look at the uniform, or a general. But look at the color and scheme and the style of the uniform. And then look at this. This is the Tybor family's guards. Oh. But this is season one, dude. And then... They're foreshadowing this. all that. And they've been foreshadowing oh. this. The Tybor family, since episode one. Duh. 
this, well, that's why a lot of people thought this was the, the uh, t uh, Titan. Oh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but this, even though this is not exactly the same, this looks a little more yeah, royal. Like a prince? Yeah, that's like a gen uh -huh, like a. But royal, maybe they royal. were hinting at the royal family, the Tiber family, the royal family, and right. with the color, same color scheme. That was they probably didn't have that the family design yet, not even in the uh, manga by the time they aired that episode. So that's really interesting for Shadow. How, how long has been the, um, season one? 2013. Two or what? Tw Seven years. Yeah, so it came out in 2013, so it, yeah. the production was probably 2012, 2011. Yeah. Yeah. Start, so yeah, it's, that, been it's been a while. Uh, this is very interesting. Do you see these dolls? I mm -hmm. thought I was part of the Tiber family, but look at the, the room. Mm -hmm. It looks old school, looks more like the room in, inside Paradise. But I think what they it's did. What is, but it's, what is this that we're watching? Still Erin's? It's all that still Erin's dream. Oh, really? And that happens in Aaron's? like two seconds, yeah. Okay, okay. okay and okay. after that, they immediately cut to this. So I think it's just uh, like a, because the position of the bodies uh -huh. is very similar. So they're just doing like a like a nice little comparison of the, nice. inno <laughs> the innocence of toys and then humans that they've been pl like in, implying people are somebody's been playing with the human humanity and killing them. It's just uh, like an eye visual metaphor. Yeah, but that was so sad. Yeah. But Aaron, just to be clarified, Aaron was is not this, a, was is not this? A titan. No, he was a yet. little boy. That nothing had happened yet. Oh. Okay. This is episode one. Yeah. Is this team Levi? Yeah. Oh, this is team. Oh, this is team Levi. Oh boy. Then we is see this different? shot of this of one eye with a B. A wasp. I don't know who this character could be, or if he's somebody important or not. And what the wasp? I don't know what that means, it, oh. but that's there. That's still there as an unanswered question. Yeah. Well, he's dead. Yes, bro. I, yes, bro. I, I don't think the, the, eye, the dead eye looks really different, like without life. Yeah. That one looks really, really bright. Yeah, I think, I think his person is alive. Looks like, could, could be Marco. Oh. Look at the hair. Yeah. Could be Marco, so could be something I like that. They he dreamed about this? He dreamed about this in that episode. That's why it's Titan. Not only that, but he dreamed about this. Oh, yeah. And it looked like this blurry. When, once oh, you see it on blur, is this. Yeah. This is the dream. This is something I got later on in the chapter at the end when this happened. So he was oh. for sure. He was dreaming about all of this. How do you see in kind of the future then? This is very weird. No, it gets weirder. Then maybe. Oh my gosh. Then he wakes up, right? Sorry. He wakes up. And then he's like, how, Mikasa, how, how's it going? So they, uh, they're not the same flowers. They are the same flowers. Yeah. Yeah. They are the same flowers yeah, from the dream. From the but there was no blood in it, There's the, no blood here yet. So on the back, you can see the... the oh, yeah, look at the... Oh. Yeah. So probably they, we're going to come back to this place at some point. Because this... It, oh, let's keep watching. Going back home. You're so out of it, says Mikasa. Maybe you should read Mikasa's lines. You are so out of it. Were you sound asleep? No. Mm -hmm. I, it's just I felt like I had a really long dream what was it what was it about I can't remember Aaron why are you crying and then Aaron realizes he's crying he didn't know he was crying uh, now that happens so episode cute. one little Aaron dude that, so cute. guys guys this is this is huge this is back when, when he, was, he had a little bit of innocence guys this is huge this is episode one and we're seeing a lot of really interesting things That's and crazy. Even the type, so probably ties to the Tiber family. This is crazy stuff right here. But it gets weirder because we see this, this after the dream, this, these flowers. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then we see the year, 845 and whatever, right? Uh -huh. Let's go to the manga now. Let's go to the manga and see what happens in the manga real quick. Uh, I'm going to put it in full screen. In the manga, it starts with a panel Inside Eren's dream, and Mikasa says, see you later, Eren. And then right. cuts to black, and then Eren wakes up. Already, it's very different. It's already very different. And that they cut this scene from the anime for some yeah. reason. Mm. I don't know if this is kind of like her telling him, I'll see you later. She, she went to pick up the twigs, and then he falls asleep. And then the next thing he remembers is her waking him up? They didn't clarify. No, they didn't, but uh, that's... Uh, when I when I read of? when I reread read that I was like maybe that was it he's remembering her telling him see you later but why would she tell him see you later instead of stop being a lazy bum and come help me pick up the twigs yeah 
True, but check this out. Look at the hair. And they're going to make sure to point that out in a second. Yeah. Look at Mikasa's hair right here. It's short. And look at it here. It's long. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's keep reading. Eden, uh, Eden. Wake, wake up. Go back. Get back. Get back, back home. home. Or it's going to get dark. Eden is, uh? Mika Mik and it says, Mikasa, your hair is gotten longer, hasn't it? You were sleeping tight and tight enough to spout that kind of nonsense upon waking up? Well, it's it's just like I just had a mighty long dream, you see. Well, I can't seem to remember what was it about. Eren, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Eren is like, huh? And he again, he doesn't realize he's crying until he notices, oh, I'm crying. And then they put the year, 8.45, and then the ominous win, the anime ominous win. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So, I think this is the last shot, but yeah, guys, they made sure to point that out, and they leave that out of the anime. Mikasa's hair. That's something they cut from the anime, but everything else, but instead they put this dream, and this dream is very weird. So, they want to keep the weirdness factor high. So, what do we think this means? Yeah, yeah, Falco was experiencing something very similar, with uh, but they didn't show it this time. It's it just Falco saying, "Oh, I was flying around." So they having dreams of the future. That's what I'm first. Right, right, first right. of all, they having dreams of the future, manga, or anime, or whatever. Visions of the future. Mm -hmm. Dreams, visions of the future, manga, anime, whatever. How is it a des destined reality? <laughs> whatever. Uh, uh, dream reality, whatever. But the hair is it, it, really is really interesting. Because Mikasa has lo short hair now. Is it like a lap? Like so, it was a gap, like a gap of time there. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking about a loop. There could right. be a loop, the like the loop theory. I, I think there's something called the loop theory out that maybe the whole show is gonna end up. It, and he wakes up. Is he is gonna end up with Eddie waking up? And it, the whole Again. and you can watch the show as a loop. What? <laughs> I hate that. I, I don't know. I don't know why would that be, but they make all these things is, are very weird. And then we have that weird scene when Eren Kruger is telling. a little boy in his house dreaming about the same dream. No, I, 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 no, 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 no. It's not going to be a dream. It's gonna end with Eren either know, dying or closing his eyes and then waking up and everywhere in chapter one again. Yeah. And then he forgets about everything except for Mikasa's hair. I, hate is, it. I don't know <laughs> if I hate it because I don't know the context. The other thing that was very, 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 very weird is when Eren Kruger, which is the previous Attack on Titan holder, was telling Eren's dad, "You need to save if Eren, you need to save Armin and Mikasa. You need to follow the plan so you can save Armin and Mikasa." That's right. And then he's like, "Who the heck are Armin and Mikasa?" And she's like, I, right. "I don't know whose memories are these." That's right. This is very weird, and there's weird stuff happening. So, huh. this is my take. I don't know how. I don't know why. I feel like Eren, adult Eren, maybe Eren from the future, he's mind traveling to a certain point and changing stuff. I was going to say, like, some, like someone exchanges stuff to happen again, and then side uh, effects say that. Lee, look back, because I, I know you're going to make a face. So, that scene when Eren says Mikasa, remember that? Uh -huh. Why is Eren, Eren is a kid, he has no previous training. How did he come up with the idea of putting a knife or a fork inside the, the broom and stabbing those guys with no fear? When you're a kid, you have, you're not that fear that you're going to kill two people. Right. Nonetheless, three. So it's like a race game, but he, was he knew acting, how to do it. And he, he knew how to track them. He knew how to get to Mikasa and save and kill all these people. So he was acting like an adult, like young Eren like was a acting like, like a trained adult. So I feel like Eren, at that, some yeah. points, is mind traveling and changing stuff. I don't know for what purpose. I don't know how he's doing, uh, but I, I feel like he's he, doing he something like that. He up the, the end, keep coming around, and maybe he keeps going back to And try, try to change everything to fix everything. Maybe at some point Mikasa died, and he, because he doesn't have Mikasa, something bad happens. So he makes sure to save Mikasa, so she will be part of the story. Yeah, because that in that... Yeah, that's mind blowing. Because that guy is Mikasa and Armin. Uh, he was crying when he wakes up. Could be, it could be. That's a very good point, Pedro. <laughs> yes, because I didn't think of that. I think he was crying because Mikasa died, and then he's seeing her with long, long hair. Oh, and but maybe Armin is the one that died, or maybe like you say, he's crying because he finally rescued Mikasa. Uh, who knows? 
I don't know. I'm not a manga reader, but this is my theory. Something weird is happening with the time things and the this whole Titan abilities. Uh, mind traveling is my take, but I'm probably super wrong. I hope I am because I don't want to guess the show, but this is very interesting. So that's theory number one. It's interesting, but yeah. So what is theory number two, you say, you ask Pedro? Well, theory number two, as I'm saying... I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm dragging this out because of... I need to put the screenshots. <laughs> So theory number two is what I call the movie theory. It's a little more meta in the sense like the pacing of the show is being very slow, right? It's been very, very slow. And it doesn't look like we're going to finish the whole manga in 16 episodes. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. there's no way. There's no way. Why do we... Why do we say 16 episodes? Let's get, go back. Why do we say 16 episodes of Attack on Titan? Why is everybody saying oh, there's only going to be 16 episodes? Well, let's check this out. Back in October, around October, November 2020, mm -hmm. there's this guy named Spy, Spy, Spy True, on Twitter. He's a reliable leaker. He has had stuff related to Attack on Titan Very right true. in the past. Okay. Um, he says, Attack on Titan Final Season, Part 1, he says. Question, Question mark? Season. <laughs> Part one question mark is listed for 16 episodes, he says. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's saying it's like part one? Maybe. Maybe. And then he says, it not, has not been clarified whether it is split or not yet. I will say not split. A few months later, a few months, maybe weeks later or days, he's, he, he twists this. AOT final season, not split. And that's, and that's why everybody's like, oh my gosh, there's... What, what are they doing? It. They're going to rush. They're ru rushing the anime. They're not going to finish it. Are they going to do part two? Everybody wanted a part two. Because if it's only 16 episodes, there's, there's no, no way. way. They can, yeah. And we were afraid they were going to... This gonna... episode was just one chapter. No, uh, we're going to talk about the pacing in a second. But yeah, everybody was afraid they're going to rush the season and call a bunch of crap Three and finish it. And, and finish it. Episode. Finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Like do a bunch of stuff. And it was going to go super quick like MAPA did with the guy at high school. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of people were mad about that. But then, a few weeks after, around December, around the release of Chapter 1, the official Attack on Titan uh, website for Season 4 releases this information. The two Blu-ray sets. These are the two Blu-ray sets for Attack on Titan Season 4. There's one and two. This, it has two boxes. And if we go inside the two boxes, it has how many chapters has? Episodes? So, Box 1 covers from chapters, episode 60 to 67. So, that's eight episodes. And box two covers from 68 to 75. That's eight, another eight episodes, That's making 16. a total of 16 episodes. Yeah. So this guy, this guy was super right. Right. He was correct in his, in his prediction, yeah. uh -huh. in his tweet. The same guy says uh, a few weeks back says, hmm, hmm. Okay, I will say something. Think of it in a positive, positive way, please. And then he yes. adds... AOT, the final six season, 16 episodes, will not be for the whole manga. But bum, stay bum, tuned. But stay tuned. So oh, I, I will talk about this in a second. <laughs> so it's not going to be for the whole manga. Stay tuned. If it's not for the whole manga, what other choice do we have? And it's the final season. And it's the final season. Uh -huh. What other choice do we have? A movie. movie. At to. least one movie. So when the movie tag was happening, especially for me, we were trying to count these episodes and the episode um, and, the and the chapter count. So we were theorizing what is the do around two chapters per episode mm -hmm. that will start in episode uh, um, chapter 91 is, is when, when season one, four starts and that will end around chapter 22 in episode 16. Right. So that, 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 that was the math. Two 122. Uh, 122. Yeah. Mm. So it starts in chapter 91, it's finishing one, in 122, leaving around eight chapters, give or take, for a movie. But the pacing has been really... Slow. slow not slow, it's been good. It hasn't been but rushed. But it's lower the last... The, the amount of chapters they cover is less than two sometimes. One and a half. And this one was, was one. one. Was only one. Now. So the, the conversation suddenly changes online. 
And now we have this guy, and I have his tweet. So this is what somewhat accurate. I still don't see how it'll end in chapter 122. And and then he tweets this this little breakthrough, mm-hmm. breakdown. So this so one. So all this has been accurate because they knew the episode titles for the following chapters. If if you following episode, they're trying to count, but they didn't count episode nine. No, no, I was just gonna say episode nine is wrong. Yeah, it, because it, that was before. That was it, like. Oh, estimating, estimating be- based on the current pacing, but yeah, the current every- pacing and the in the titles, in the titles, mm-hmm. and, and everything changes in episode nine because they did not go into one oh seven at all. They just covered one oh six. Yeah. So, but right now the the end point changes drastically. Now it's not one twenty two. Now it's one nineteen. And uh, if we're me- talking about one nineteen. Okay, say that again. If we're talking about 119, they believe a huge, yeah, Emmanuel, the other guy that, 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 yeah. Our brother, yeah. Our brother. He and I are are the, (laughs) the other one that lives here. He is, he is another manga reader and we were discussing about it and, and we were like, damn, if they finish in 119, it'll be a huge, huge cliffhanger. Um, and I just read it today again and I was like, oh my God. And that just uh, it worries me because I want to know if they do a movie, how long are they going to take to release it? Mm-hmm. Because that if they end in 119, it'll be a cliffhanger that will have people, I guess it, 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 it you know, accomplishes what they want is people to talk about it right. over Maybe and over. Movie. Like, what are they going to do? What's going to happen? Uh why and all that stuff, all those questions. So if they do it in one nineteen, it's it's gonna be huge. it's gonna be huge. Yeah. It's okay. So let, let me let me, let's go back real quick to one twenty two. Yeah. When we were speculating that it was going to end in one chapter one twenty two, was that a good cliffhanger? Was that let a good point to, to finish? To finish. Because Emmanuel says that's the beginning of the of the end. He's like one twenty two is the beginning of the end. Ah! Dios mio. Um, and I told Emmanuel, so what if, because this is the other conversation that, that was happening. Don't show me. This yeah, is the other, com- show you. This is the other conversation that was me. happening online. <laughs> the other conversation that was happening online, they were saying, okay, they're going to finish in e- episode 16. It's going to contain 119 and 123. So I asked Emmanuel, can they do that? Can they skip 120 to 122? Are is, is that skippable? And can they replay, put that in the movie instead of the anime? And Emmanuel is like, no, because you need those sh- episodes. Th- they come was in those chapters to understand one, two, and three. But Maybe I don't. But I don't know. I feel like those are three chapters that they could cut and put in the movie out of context. I, it sounds to me like a flashback, but I, I don't read the manga, so I don't know. Mm. So Lily can't. You can elaborate a little more without spoiling, of course. What's, what's, what's going? running to was a cliffhanger and all. <laughs> so it ends if it ends in one nineteen, it'll leave people asking a lot of questions. Mostly the, m- the most the, the bigger question is what's gonna happen. I can tell you that for sure. Like what's gonna happen. If they Is there skip, room for an epilogue? If they skip uh You know no. how, how every season has an epilogue at the end? I don't think so. Or after the credits I don't probably think so. No, because it'll ruin it. Um, if they skip 120, 121, let me see what's 121. No, it's a continuation. 121, and then, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't make those noises. <laughs> 122. And they go oh straight to 123? God. If we, oh shoot. They can't, no, they can't skip it. it I don't know why the conversation on, online was about that. Um, maybe they were sticking a section of 123 because we have experienced that this season. They got a section from 108, for example, and, uh, and added back in one in, in the episode that was doing 111, for example. The Willie Tiber flashback when he was talking to Magat, they ad- added that later on instead of showing that, showing that in order. So they can cut stuff around and ma- still make it make sense um, through flashbacks. So... But no, knowing where you know, what's the best way to go? And one nineteen or one twenty two? I would say 
119 would be better. Because 120 starts something different. Yeah. Mm. Let's just say yes in a sure. way. Like, what happens in 120 is like the beginning of something. Like, yeah. Okay. Like 120 is, I mean, oh, shoot. They would have to end if they if they would. Yeah, they would if if they go more than 119, they would definitely have to end in 122. Let, let me ask you this, like, with a different example. Let's say season three ended when they go to the basement and they then they, the season ended where they, they open the door. <laughs> let me see. And then you have all, they call all the flashbacks, they call the beach scene, and they and let's say they wouldn't have added that to season four. Is, are we talking about something like that? Are we talking about something like that? That is it's important information, but you can end the season without knowing that information and leaving it for later? Or is something like season three, like, okay, we probably need to get to this point to start season four in Marley. We would have to end it. Yeah, they, they would have had to to end it right there where, where they needed so to get the viewers the same feeling that the manga readers got. Okay. So it's more like a going to Marley situation type of thing. Because, it, like, for example, if you ended up when they all go to the basement, but you don't get to see what's in the basement, people are going to be pissed, but then they know next season is going to start right there, mm -hmm. while season four started, started in, a, in a different time period with different people, and it's a more fitting start, to be honest. So this is, this is confusing because I'm trying not to go into spoilers because I don't know anything, but this is the information that we have. And the, the current speculation is, like, manga... Uh, the anime is going to end in manga chapter 119. Um, and everything else has to be made into a movie. Now, is there room for two movies or just one? Two. That's a big question to ask. Oh, that would make just, us wait too long. Just, just quick answer. Is there room for two movies or, or one? You don't have to go in too deep. It's just... It's, the thing is, I don't know where where the first movie would end and where right. where the the second one would would start. Okay. Because everything is just, uh, it, what was that action and consequence? Everything is just like from from one nineteen on. Everything is just action and consequence. Okay, it's like one long scene. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, can they add with extra additional flashbacks and stuff like that? Or additional scenes because they can expand on the scenes too if they need to and show things for the that movie? yeah for the movie and show because uh, I feel like if I'm gonna start a movie about Attack on Titan, I would probably go into the mythos in the very opening scene like they do in Harry Potter. In the last two movies, they open in the second of the final movies with the tale when it, with the tale of the two brothers and the mm -hmm. three mi relics or whatever the cape, the the ring and mm -hmm. and the and the wand. And it was like a mi mythic tale introducing us to those concepts, and they they go into the movie. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they can do the same with Attack on Titan and mm -hmm. talking about the tree and the and the first Titan shifter, and then go we see we, we go to the end part of the, of the story. I think that's what they need to do, if they do that. That was interesting too. Yeah. And uh, now my my second part of this theory is animation studios. Do you guys think the reason we didn't want to do season? It's because they were asked to do a season and a movie, and they're like, okay, we take the movie because we're already working on different movies. I was movies. telling Emanuel that. And we find another studio to do the season and just start the movie here, and we, we studio has more experience in doing movies. I don't know if MAPA has done movies before, uh, but I know WIT has. So what if they're, instead of move, moving from one movie to a season and a movie, they're like, find somebody else to do this, this, the, the, the season. We take care of the movie. I was, yeah, I was telling Emmanuel earlier that whenever we were talking about one night ending in 119 and all that stuff, I was like, well, they can't wait that long to release the movie because the cliffhanger, if they do end in 119, the cliff cliffhanger is huge and people are not going to wait that long and they're going to start reading the manga. Which yes. is probably what they want to. Probably, but... Cause Cause I kind of want to read it now. That's going to increase manga <laughs> sales. That's something like, I would do. I would be like, okay, I'm going to leave the like manga, manga. That would increase the manga sales to the <laughs> roof. I want to know. Guys, this season is one of the highest rated shows of all time. Attack on Titan is beating Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones with, really? the, ama yeah, with the amount of 10s out of 10s it has in, wow. in episodes. 
is okay. this is the best show, highest rated on or what IMDb. I was, what I was telling Emmanuel is that what if? Because like I said, they can't wait too long. Uh, because either either the hype is gonna be too too good, or people are just gonna get tired of waiting if L they waited long. Let me add to that so thought. Let me add to that thought. And they <laughs> learned their no. They, it's important. They learned their lesson from season one because the wait from season one and season two oh, was four long. years. So the hype went down immensely, and it's just now season four that people are coming back because season three was so good. Like everybody was talking on season three that everybody is coming back for season four. And because of the final season. Right now, I feel the hype is just as good as in 2013. When mm. it was the biggest anime. And the error that they made was what made everybody wait for four years. No, that's they too should, much. They I should mean, have, I didn't wait that long, but... They should have made them I wait for two years, but they were busy waiting. doing other animes. So that's part of the reasons, that just like you were saying, they probably didn't want people to wait that long. So continue your thought. So what I was telling him, Emmanuel, <laughs> was that since they, since they couldn't... Uh, they can't wait that long. Uh, what if Wit Studio was taking care of the movie right now? Uh, once they're they're done, because uh, I think they they were working on a, on a Cavanetti movie. They were working on a Cavanetti so movie. So they once they're took done a different with that anime one, too, but that could be a different department. Once, yeah, once they're done with that one, they they would start right away with the Attack on Titan movie. So that way, uh, right now that Mappa is working on the season. They're already working on the movie, and we have to wait, let's say, a year for the movie to be done and released to the theater. Which is normally what the anime movies do. Yeah. With, like Demon Slayer. They only yeah. wait a year. For but for, for a, a movie like Attack on Titan, I think they they would need a lot of time for, or for preparation. So I think that's what they're doing. Like, Mappa is taking care of the season while Wit is taking care of That's what I'm hoping they're doing. <laughs> Right. Uh, there, uh, Wit Studio, because I I feel like Wit Studio should be the ones doing the movie, because Wit the if you see, I'm not saying that Mappa is a bad animation studio, but you can tell the difference between seasons one, two, three, and season four. You can, but I feel like they're doing a great job because no, it, it doesn't feel too. I'm too not saying that different. it's horrible. No, no, it's no. just I feel like it's better. Like no, I no. see season one and I'm like. Damn, this is amazing animation. I feel like they pick in season two. Mappa uh, and with pick it, season two is the best animated season, especially with the Beast uh, and and the fight with in, and season three that fight with Levi and the Beast Titan. Mm -hmm. uh, but season two, the whole season has better animation. And Mappa, you can tell the difference, but they're doing a great job. They're doing things that we would have not done, like the rotoscope um, and the CGI. Mm -hmm. The thing that worries me. They started this production way, like, let's say six months back per episode. Like, every episode has, like, a six-month production time. I was on Twitter, and I read somebody that claimed to be an animator from the studio, from APA Studio. And no joke, the ep episode when Eren eats the Warhammer, they finished the episode the day before. <laughs> and they started the production <laughs> six months ago on that episode. Okay. So it's taking them... It, a long time, but it's, it still feel it's still a little rush. So if they're not planning on taking any breaks or not breaking it into parts, I don't know if they can handle the whole season doing uh, to, till the end. And I feel like based on what everybody's been saying about the manga, this this needs to end in a grandiose, a spectacular way. Mm -hmm. And while grandiose and a spectacular way to finish <laughs> in, in in to finish the the whole story in a, in movie theaters in, in, oh, in yeah, a, yeah. with a movie quality yeah. with a good animation studio that's gonna take care and take care of it. Yeah. We're going. Maybe we have to wear masks. Uh, yeah, we we're too. going. Yeah. No, everybody's going. We put we put one of those like the suits. The suits yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? We have to rent the whole the whole. Room. Right. Yeah. Oh, I rent the whole theater. <laughs> yeah. uh, and the, uh, the thing is, that Demon Slayer movie is destroying the box office in Japan. In a pandemic. It hasn't come here, right? No, but they, it's, they, coming, they, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. All the movies, Titanic, Avengers, all of the movies he beats in the now. middle of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. In Japan, it, big, that's they why. They close everything there, no? Yeah, exactly. How are they doing that? It's incredible Red what the Demon Slayer movie, the Demon Slayer movie is doing. So Attack on Titan is pop is is just as big as Demon Slayer, so they can see all the money. So not, so they probably they probably. Planning to do a movie. Mm -hmm. That's that's where I think this is going. Worst case scenario, um, Mappa is doing the movie, and we're still gonna get a decent movie. We're probably gonna wait, have to wait, but right away I get a good product. But yeah, yeah, guys, that's that's the movie theory. That's where where the, we think things are heading. It looks like it. 
it looks that way. So that that's almost everything that we guys we have for you guys. The final thing that we want to do today, guys, and this has been a long stream. It's been two hours and it's amazing. Yeah. I we have new artwork and we want to reveal it it's to you guys. So cool. Incredible. <laughs> Just give it a minute because it's loading. <laughs> what is this? this is I don't know. What? What the heck, Pebble? <laughs> you give me a minute. Uh, it's kind of hard to control. Just make it no copyright music. No, that's copyright. Is it? Yeah. Just, just, just give me a minute. <laughs> okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this is our new Attack of Titan piece, guys. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. As you bombastic right, right away. <laughs> as you can see, it's, it's our previous. It's the same as our previous like, Attack on Titan piece, but we updated the background to make it more, more look like Marley. We even added the little spiky thing that the like Warhammer the Titan. <laughs> It does, and we changed Eren for season four Eren, and he just looked like this in episode nine. So, up yeah, to date, cool. best episode. Mm -hmm. So this is deep piece, but we feel like we need to do something else. So. So we have me. So we have me casa piece as well, and look at the amount of detail. Look at the lips, and the eyes. Luscious, they're juicy, and they're kissable. They're juicy. Look at the blade, it looks amazing. So Pedro and I, I, I Pe like if you guys, don't <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know, Pedro and I do the artwork. So Pedro does the liner. So this is kind of his process. Pedro. Oh, I don't yeah, think they can see him. Video. Okay, okay. Here. So Pedro does the, the Pedro does the line work, and I do the coloring. So so I'm gonna show the process real quick. So this is the. Base line art, and I'm, go I'm gonna go real quick. This is this, <laughs> this is a sketch. The base line art, and then shading one, shading two, cold flats, and then highlights. That's kind of normally how we do Hi highlights and some of the special effects, like right here. That's cool. Yes, yeah, I really hard. like. Yeah, because we wanted, we wanted to capture the diamond fist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then a little. More detail to the background. Oh, then you know how that poster is gonna look good in the in the vinyl one. Oh yeah, really. No, no vinyl, vinyl in the in the recente que hacen. Uh, uh, holographic. Holographic. Yeah, I really order holographics and vinyl sort of this one. So and this cool. is the final Whoa! product Whoa! with the, all these special effects. So it took us a while. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so it took us a while to do this. These guys are so goofy. My my siblings are so goofy. Anyways. They're your siblings. <laughs> yeah, they are. And then we have the Mikasa step. As you can see, we didn't start with we start with the base pose, but we then made some adjustments. So sketch, line art, oh. shades, oh. shades, oh. flats, highlights. Then we adjusted the posters to make it look more like a Man, poster. Lips. Then we <laughs> add the background and special effects. Wow! wow. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, those I'm posters are really available right now in our Etsy <laughs> store. <laughs> So if you go to the Etsy store, <laughs> you can find them right here, and you can click on them and pre. Seven people, Seven people have already it already. Have it already. Very people, nice. what are you waiting for? You need to get it. Yeah, and you it's can you, you can pre-order it now. Right now it says pre-order. Where is the description there? Oh, the, the Mira, someone put the review. Someone had it already. Wow, that looks well, amazing. they have the season. I'm gonna show you guys. This is the oh, season okay. three version, but it says <laughs> yeah. pre pre order because it's gonna take like two weeks production time to make the actual prints and the and the prints. Once the prints arrive to the headquarters, the Blades Manga headquarters, we're gonna ship them. But if you can see, you can select the style. You can select the season three style. Oh, that's pretty wow. amazing. Or the season four style. Wow. Or or, <laughs> or the season four style. Wow. <laughs> and if you're fancy, you can get a holographic version. Because wow. <laughs> we we're we gonna don't take a picture yet. of the holographic. We don't have it in our hands yet, but we will have holographic, and it's gonna look nice. The same thing with the Mikasa poster. Pre you pre-order this one, and you can get it in regular. Or holographic. Wow! 
<laughs> so yeah, guys, that's our Etsy store. That's a way to support the channel. And let us know if you want us to keep doing live streams. I know this one kind of didn't work out <laughs> as <laughs> live. <laughs> As live as, as we wanted it to try be. We're to talk to our internet provider and see what the heck is going on. Well, good thing I'm recording this video, so I'm going to upload this as a video and you can rewatch it later on. Right. And, yeah. and it's, it's going to look very quality. Wow! wow. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, this, this is our Etsy store. Because he recorded it. <laughs> and that, that was a really fun time. I really had fun doing this live stream. Just remember to subscribe to this channel and give a like to this video once it's live. <laughs> Remember, we have, we oh do my. reactions. <laughs> we do reactions, so we're going to upload our reactions for episode 9 tomorrow, Monday. Uh -huh. It's going to be ready by tomorrow. And this live is going to go live as soon as it's <laughs> it uploads, because it's going to take, 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 take a few, a while. take a while. But, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And we see you guys on the, on the other, other side. side. Peace. Bye.